is me. It's Future Bunchy. It was kind of in right here. We have Future Hypocrite, the uh, mini it's, PCP. It's me. Okay, uh, we just want to stress real quick here. We're scared baby cowards. <clears throat> uh, we are good people. We are the good guys in this situation. We represent wholesome intellectual values, and we have nothing against people. If you look bad or are ugly, we don't hate you. Like, we <laughs> yeah, promise. yeah. The, the the things that go on is in this podcast will make you cry. It uh, doesn't matter who you are. So, um, mm-hmm. uh, the thoughts and feelings and and words said by me and Munchie do not reflect the thoughts feelings of uh, uh me and of Munchie. Yes. It, it, we 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 were joking. We it, it was it was a robot. Yeah, it, it, it was, was, it was someone prank. else. Yeah. It was it was a clone. It was an evil twin. It was a it was a badass. <laughs> he was a really <laughs> cool guy, and he upstaged just in every way. Uh, uh, yeah. So you know, um, I I believe everything that I said, but um, I said it in a mean way, probably. Yeah, I, was, I felt like it was same. unfair. Yeah, I, I yeah. yeah. It's just a trigger warning. Just 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 yeah. don't kill me. Yeah, yeah. Just please don't kill me. Yes, I I don't want to die. I like you, all of you good guys, all of you men and women, and all the other ones. You know, shout out to those guys. You know, this is just, you know, just, you know, we're, we're on your side. I am the biggest liberal cuck of anyone to ever exist. It, Martin Luther King Jr., shit, he's gone. Get rid of him. Bye. Uh, it's me now. I'm on your side, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit of intellectual, you know, curiosity. You know, just, just putting words out there, you know, like, like just like a little bit. Just like, this is, this is just, you know, a little bit of an idea, not... Oh, I'm gonna fu- I'm gonna die. I will be dead. I will be dead. Anyway, uh, enjoy the podcast. Uh, just remember, uh, everyone else is evil, not us. That's that's why we're doing this. Yes, we are the good guys. Everyone else is bad guys. If if, if you if, if everyone's transphobic, I just throw it on everyone else. Uh, we we aren't bad. We, we, we promise. <laughs> All right, Don't goodbye. Don't kill me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best guy ever, and this is the PCP, where a bunch of internet people get together. We all make stuff here, and here is us talking about it. Uh, we're joined today by Ben Saint. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hippocrit is here. Hippocrit, everyone. No, I'm sorry, I was saluting the, the the flag of whatever that song was. <laughs> what song is that? Uh, what was that? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's probably Scottish, because in my head it's not played on the bagpipes. Bag, it does sound like bagpipes. Okay, uh, Munchie, where's Tiny Hats? Uh, I, I, I just got back from Papua New Guinea. I've been spending my entire... Mm. For the past... Ten years with a native tribe, and they and they and they've taught me wisdoms you wouldn't even able to be comprehending with your dumbass white boy brain. <laughs> they taught me secrets such as uh, don't look at the sun and also play in dirt. It's fun. Uh, so I'm hmm. here to spread these invaluable truths with the population. Did all their lessons? Earth. Did all their lessons That's rhyme good. like that? <laughs> oh, oh! They they talk exclusively in rhymes. Doctor Seuss is a black Aboriginal. You didn't know that. <laughs> tell you right now. Uh, and we're also joined by Tom Oliver. Yo. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. Uh, Okay, well, speaking of uh, African places that we just came back <laughs> yeah. from, uh, at, which is the topic of this video, I just came back from Niger. <laughs> Niger. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's how I... I think it's pronounced. F- fun- funnily uh, enough, I actually, I actually am wrote I in down trouble? <laughs> for a school test. Am I in test. trouble now? <laughs> I wrote down okay. for a school test. I wrote down nigger instead of Niger on like an actual <laughs> test that I put I mean, in. No. What, what are they going to do? What are they no, going to do? No, like, they, they, they gave me full credit. credit that there was actually, there's actually no penalty. <laughs> they gave you a you gold actually get star. bonus <laughs> credit. <laughs> bonus. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Can I, can I tell, uh, can I tell my N-word no, story? No, because we don't know what this topic is. We have, we're lost in the fucking dark. We need to be guided by The topic is African countries that we're not allowed to go to. Too, we, right? need, we need a dictionary of <laughs> non-rural descent to okay. guide right. us. Here's what we got. Here's what we got for you, everybody. The topic for today is things you're not allowed to say. Things Kind of like George Carlin's old uh, skit about the seven words you're not allowed to say on television. It's that sort of thing. Only we're, we're, it's a little bit broader here. Mm-hmm. And it's because it's kind of a broad topic. There's no one urban dictionary definition that really fits this. Blasphemy. I tried searching for a bad word. That's what I found. Mm-hmm. There was a definition here. 
Uh, the first one's just a list of swears you're not supposed to say. Ass, fuck, bitch, skank, slut, asshole, asswipe, cunt, hoe, whore, bitch, ass, damn. Wait, But skank? then there's a little definition. Stank? Yeah. That was weak. It was very weak. Um, and here, here's the longer definition. Uh, words that are said in order to make someone or something look or feel bad, cursing is a type of bad word usage. Hmm. Okay. That's like... Okay, but we're, we're going broader than just bad words yeah, here. Yeah. There's no definition Bad ideas, it. of uh, which Nate is full of. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Ben I, wanted to tell his N-word story. Yes, so yes. What, what do you got for us, Ben? Well, it's uh, I might have told it before, but I'll tell it again here. When I was like, mm -hmm. I was probably in like fourth grade or something. And remember how our parents used to used to cruelly and inhumanely leave us at like an after school program while they were at work? Oh, of course. that's y unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Stephen Molyneux would be very upset if he heard this. He would so, be very upset. I remember I had, I had a I had a black friend when I was like <laughs> oh, in elementary no. school. This I just know, gets yeah. worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The problems all started here. Um, and we mm -hmm. we had like a little electronic like digital dictionary. It was like a little like toy mm -hmm. thing where you could look up words in in this like little database. And uh, and he was like, oh oh look up look up this word. And he types in n i g e r. And I'm mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. What and it's like did doesn't find the word and I'm mm. like oh what's that and he's like oh I I guess it doesn't know the <laughs> word but it's a bad word for black people and I was like oh okay and that's how I learned about that word. <laughs> did did you try putting in n i g g e r or anything? I, I don't I I I think he yeah Maybe? I think I think he then was like oh wait 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 and then he tried it with two g's and it also yeah, did not, okay. it also did not return anything because of course it fucking wouldn't because this was like a fucking toy mm -hmm. kids dictionary on a fucking little <laughs> micro computer Dude, it's really <laughs> woke as fuck the guy who programmed thing. that in like I wonder yeah. Yeah. they they got to learn somehow just type that you know in. It, it's a funny thing though us like adults policing what kids should and shouldn't know as like just just words that exist even it's like. I guess specifically with like racial slurs, it's like we don't, the concept of the racial slur comes with a lot of baggage that we just don't want children to have. Like we don't want kids to like differentiate between racial groups because not a lot of good comes from doing so. Uh, so I, I guess I understand like not wanting kids to hear that. Like when it comes to words like fuck and shit, I don't really see the need to keep kids from hearing words like that. Uh, yeah, I don't um, know. I never have. Well, I think, um... Uh, mm -hmm. the, the the kids who do find out about it are then like uh, they use it as currency to become popular. That's mm -hmm. true. And That's I guess true. if it wasn't those as words, I, it would be something as else. As have because I right now. Ki kids kids like hiding things from other kids to be like oh here's my and stuff. Here's my yeah. Jordan Peterson archetypal moment. Okay, that functions just like the story of of Adam and Eve, the forbidden <laughs> fruit of knowledge, was actually just some sick ass swear words that Eve mm -hmm. found out from from Satan himself, and 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 Adam was all like, "Yo, share that with me, bro." And then when Big Daddy God found out, he was super <laughs> pissed, and he mm -hmm. grounded them for life, and which inspired the show <laughs> Grounded for Life. It was a big Big, big, a big, big Daddy uh, God is actually the name of my fursona. Yeah. <laughs> when, when he found out that 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 Eve had taken a bite of the apple, he wouldn't give them cummies anymore for like an entire week. It was, it was a whole big ordeal. Which is why Adam had to make his own cummies, which yeah. inspired original sin. It was yes. a big problem for everybody. Oh my God, oh no. we figured it out. <laughs> uh, uh, well, guys. It, okay, so what do we? We're, we're, this is like the concept of like forbidden knowledge, almost yeah. like bad words. Like words themselves um, are simply tools, like anything, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So where where I, do we get this whole idea? Yeah. What, what do you got? Get? Well, Go well on. I, I was gonna say, um, mm -hmm. I have I have a thing that uh, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to say uh, say like spe especially on the internet. Uh, okay. Especially on a like a red pill podcast like this, um, <laughs> oh, the, yeah, the, the idea that uh, that social justice isn't all that bad, mm. and in fact some yes. of them have a point. Oh no! I'm yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. I have a point I like, that I'll I probably like get to justice. later, where I literally support not freedom of speech in this scenario, it, like like okay. like self policing. Okay. Mm. So, well, self-policing is very different well, from the kind sure, of social justice, sure. mob justice, you know, like sure. public well, harangment you get like, for... Like, like, like social justice warriors are like stupid people who I, I think are very funny. Um, mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> social justice uh, as like a thing is like, 
It's not a bad idea. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, on the fa- on the face of it, it sounds pretty yeah. good, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like you, okay, you, I, I I guess you're getting there with like, uh, is that related to like the racial slur thing or like uh, how we should just, we should just, just like expect? It's just uh-huh. the, the the idea that I was bringing forth a thing that you're not allowed to say on the internet oh. because oh. it is oh. okay. Okay, you okay, see? I see your point. But like, well, um, <laughs> you know, it's it's because like <laughs> uh, like the idea of like um mm. policing it is is stupid. Like making sure like quotas and st- no, you don't need that. But the idea that um, uh, we've got a character. Should we have a woman character or a black character or like a gay character? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, no, sure. Who, who cares? Never. Oh. <laughs> Not oh. if you I want mean, the, me the to read answer. it. The correct answer is who cares. <laughs> the yeah, correct answer like, is who cares. It is like, who that's, cares. So like, I why not? Really. Why not be okay with it? I mean, the yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just it's not really okay, just the, the reason... so much as like the the idea of normalizing it is like completely harmless okay, here's, on its own. Here's, here's my so counter. I don't see the here's, point. Here's in my quote unquote counter it. argument, which isn't really a counter argument, uh, but mm-hmm. kind of is the reason. I have no when 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 these things happen. There's like these social justice injections of like minorities and other shit into media. Yeah. I my problem is never the fact that there's more more minority representation. It's always I know the reasoning behind it now because they've pulled yeah. the curtain it, out yeah. way, right. and and right. that's what pisses me off because like yeah. I know this wasn't a natural artistic development in the production of this thing. Someone checked off some boxes because see that's, and now that's, that's well, there's, all right. There's all right. nothing no wrong. There's reason. nothing wrong with making a character a non-white <laughs> cis male, but mm-hmm. not at all. In fact, in, fa- in fact, I think it's it's nice. I do. I like. I like. Th- Rep- the idea of representation in principle, but mm-hmm. when it comes yeah, when it comes that. off as contrived, then you've you've done. I feel like you've done more damage. Yeah, or, like, or like, even if it's not contrived, when it comes off as like it, when you feel that like what you're seeing there is not so much an artistic, you know, expression as so much of like like uh, micromanaging yeah. of a creator's desire. Like that that's, that that, that yeah. just speaks I mean, to like well, okay, well we well, just want people to create what they want. Specific ex- example that I'm, I'm yeah. going to talk about because okay. I, okay. I uh, like I went to Germany recently. And and I was pitching a mm-hmm. show. And this was a show I hadn't made, but um, yeah. a lot of the show characters, uh, you know, are gay or like um, you know, race many races in this, you know. But like, it's, it's a fantasy <laughs> Good setting. One, Hippo. Is, is, is that it, hard to animate, Gib? The fact that there's so many races, like that everyone's running no, all the just, time. Yeah, yeah. Change the film. You know what I'm to saying, dude? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But like, yeah, um, good. <laughs> I had no problem because like the the way that the story was written, because I was brought on to write with the story. <laughs> I didn't mm-hmm. write it obviously about the the race and the gender you know stuff like it's not a show about a woman being the main character it's a mm-hmm. show about you know cool shit and a woman just happens to be the main character and I made my pitch and, and stuff and then I the, the person who came directly after me was the complete wrong like the the opposite of like you know they they had the same sort of thing just the female, all that shit was like lead. the focus but yeah mm-hmm. they 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 literally like their whole pitch was like <clears throat> every single social justice warrior buzzword and nothing about what the story was or why we should give a shit about this show. Well, that's just and that's and it's like, exactly. It was, it was, complete, it was you, basically yeah. the same thing on a surface level, but nobody gave a shit, especially me. I was like, why would you tell, wait, wait, tell wait. me about this show, please? This, is, this was the person that was pitching their show after you? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, okay. And it was just about... I really wanted to, to, to show that... You know, women can be main characters and, and represented in blacks. And I'm, I'm just, wow. I didn't, I didn't even mention that in mine because it was Stunning. important. And it just annoyed me because, like, well, it just that's, showed, that's, like, that's my point basically entirely. Is when you do this for the wrong yeah. reasons, like your your the integrity of the product isn't there because there is none. Yeah. Like yeah. what I would really want to see is like that person to like finish their show, like at like display it to the public, and then like. If that show, like, tanks because nobody gives a shit about it, because all it does is, like, that's kind of what you see with, like, this, like, right now Marvel is pushing a lot of diversity in their comics Love and now. shit. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, uh, and, like, the comic industry is doing very badly. People are turned off by it in a big way, and they're being forced to reevaluate their position here. So it's like... The marketplace does not support just ideological browbeating, you know, yeah, through like, like, through their comics. You with, know? with something like the comics, changing the gender or the race of characters people know and love is not the way to mm-hmm. do it. You make new characters that are just good and that have we those genders and races. We can't have that. We can't make original IPs anymore. The market's oh, yeah, saturated right. with them and we gotta play <laughs> it safe. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, well, we've had, we've had too many ideas in the past. Sad. We've farmed. We've farmed the future. We've we've strip mined the future of ideas, <laughs> and now we've we've pulled them all out, and there's no more new ones to be had. We've just got to work with what we've got. Unfortunate. I, this was a, 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 a problem, I guess, I had. A, b- back in the good old days of, of, of the, the Wild West of Gamergate, where uh, <laughs> it was hard for me to, like... It, it's hard for me to tell all the time when a, like, when, when a, when a black person is a black person for corporate or for artistic uh, reasons. You know, there's, well, that's there, the issue right there. there. there, there, there there's mm-hmm. obvious, you know, there's obvious examples of, you know, a black person done for corp- corporate, you know, gain. Of which mm-hmm. I can name exactly zero, but I'm sure they exist because everyone says that they do. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, mm-hmm. it, I, a lot of the time I would imagine if it's a small, like, you know, indie game as it was with a lot of a gamer gate people, uh, you know, yeah. uh, talking points. But it's probably just done because they like black people, and I think it's hard to, you know, I, I, I would say that, like, as a general statement, I would say, like, like I like, yeah, like, like Ben said, I like black people. I like seeing them in uh, video games every so often. Pretty good. So I think as a Blake and mm-hmm. statement, I, I want to <laughs> encourage that, and I and yeah. I don't. I'm skeptical of the like. How often is there really a border meeting of all right? We need like a couple more black people here. Like we, I, we I wanna, just need it. It's probably I, more often than any of us would like to admit. Like the, the BBC yeah. is on record saying it, they have yeah. like quotas that they have to meet now, it's, and oh, they post well, jobs yeah. all the time it's, where they're like yeah, white the, people the, can't apply, I, like straight up. I, like this okay, is a minority really only job. When, when I want to. I want to take. I want to take. Oh, sorry, you, you can you can go. No, 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 it's fine. Okay, well, well, I think this is a good time for me to stake my claim because um, I want to put this out there so everyone knows where I stand on this issue. Oh no, there, there is a well. The, it's not a big deal. It's stupid. You're all gonna be disappointed. Okay, there is a okay. there is a Mr. B Tongue video that was controversial, and it's about like oh, diver- yeah. it's the, the one about diversity and the one about. Um, I got. I forget what it's called, but it's the one where he talks about CD Projekt and how like their games right, are different right. because they come from like a, a Polish culture, which is not like a well represented culture and and stuff, mm-hmm. and how like more diversity leads to like fresher ideas and stuff. And uh, I fucking love that video. Um, and anyone that disagrees with it is stupid. And well, wait, uh, I, was and he was he making a point that like the, the 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 buzzwords for the discussion of that was that there are too many white people in this Polish game. But you was he? Yeah. I forget what he was saying of that. Was he I, agreeing that like there was, should be black people in The no, Witcher? No. Well, he he said that he said that maybe there should be. But was he saying that because the game was all about Polish like folklore and stuff, and that yeah, was a he's, fresh he, take he's, on the he's, fantasy he's genre? That, that's he's, important. He's saying that yeah, because CD Projekt is Polish and Polish people don't make that many games. Like that's why CD yeah. Projekt's games feel a little different, and that's what sure. he likes about them. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's great. And I, I and that and like I was already kind of i was already kind of blue pilled but then i watched that mr b tongue video and then i was fully then i i i I took my big i took a big vat of blue pills and of blue gel Mm -hmm. capsules and cracked them all up into a swimming pool and just died right hand on really that's not even really a blue pill point it's not well and yet then then why did i get in so many bitter arguments about it because people are retarded then every people on youtube (laughs) are the stupidest people ever so i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not talking about people on youtube i'm talking about people in this very PCP that we're in. People oh in God. the PCP no, fought me oh tooth and God. nail on that issue. Well, then I, mean, I could not. Everybody in this podcast it. who isn't me is retarded, and because that point is totally fine. <laughs> because it's not. I know. I love it's, it. It's it's not contradictory to anything we were just talking about because that has nothing to do that. That's. The reason that that game feels refreshing isn't necessarily because it was Polish people. It's because it was Polish folklore. It was a concept that it was a, it was a, a well of inspiration that hasn't been tapped on a lot. And mm. while those the Polish people are in a better position to take those ideas because they're familiar with them, anybody could have just easily said, "Hey, look at Poland. Let's take some ideas from there," and now, they could have well, had a refreshing. Well, no, I, I don't. Would it I don't have think... been, would it have been his nuance and authentic? Probably not, but it still yeah. would have been different. So it's an intellectual thing that's being brought to the well, table. It's, well, it's I don't know. ideas I think... that make it refreshing. And... Yeah, but I think well, that I think that the, the the thing here, the idea is that like people from different backgrounds bring new perspectives and ideas to things. So like, okay. Yeah. I think it's would be over I think it's oversimplifying to say that okay if we're talking about games like yeah the games industry it's a lot of white males and stuff but like that's mm-hmm. not I don't know I there's lots of different I, types of white male 
Yeah, yeah the and term I, is so I, wide as to be meaningless. Europe. I think it, I think it's not important to point out the specifics of like, oh, it's white cis males that are doing it. That's not the, the point. Is that it's a monoculture and it attracts people of like like minded culture and and societal values and outlooks and similar and similar ideas mm-hmm. and sensibilities, and is in, is like an exclusive thing that kind of pushes people away that do not share that same mindset, including you know uh, minorities and and f- women and, and things like that. So I yeah. Basically, I just really like the idea of inclus- inclusiveness and uh, that fucking... Because he says, in the, Mr. B. Tung says in that video that, like, we're not doing them a favor by letting them make video games. It's more like we're we're allowing them to do us a favor by, like, bringing their fresh right. perspective. No, no that's, one's that's, allowing yeah, anyone yeah, yeah. to do a goddamn favor. Well, they made yeah, their yeah, own yeah. studio and made their own fucking video well, games. Well, they right. built it up themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They but didn't the need thing, anybody. Okay, okay. Like the well, end well, the result is, is that you get something yeah. that you wouldn't have otherwise okay. yeah. shared. And, so and, and that's it's, a net positive for you. And I'm not here, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about like a conspiracy to keep women out of video games or anything. It's the, like the problem... It, how the fuck did I get on fucking women in video games? And this is okay. fucking gamer I'm gate over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish the point. I'll, I'll finish the point, and then we can move. Everybody. Okay. I'll okay. finish the point, and then we can move on. It's it's the problem is that the the culture is hostile to outsiders, and that's what key. That's what it's not a hard. That is like, kind of what cultures are. Cultures inherently have barriers around them. Well, to keep people who are I, not within think, the culture. Yeah. Out. Well, there's 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 degrees. Uh, there's I don't want to get that's, into this. I'm it, just, right. just going to let I'm going to let that point go. Let, let I, me just say one I, point about this, and is that ironically, Ben. Poland is by far the most red-pilled MGTOW uh, country well, in, uh, in Europe by far. That's neither here nor there. It's still, ilu- <laughs> it's still illustrative right. of the point. All right. I'm, but then, uh, then again, so are like, no so is like, I mean, like, they, they can't hold a candle to like Islamic countries like fucking, you know, uh, Iran and shit. They're pretty, uh, they're but, pretty, but, they're pretty but, red. But, red but, but what they're about Sharia red. law, Ben? What about Sharia law? What about <laughs> Sharia law? Dude, that's, if there that's was a game about Sharia law. Like but just, it's just, it's red pilled as fuck, and yet it's like loved by like feminists and SJWs. You know? Okay, but whatever. Let's get off this shit. I want to ask for clarification on that, but I'm scared to. <laughs> I I was very confused that entire time because I didn't know what side anyone was on. But uh, here's the okay. thing. Uh, imagine like there's like like a game where or a, or a, a story where the 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 law is humanity was underground for fucking millions of years, and they Dude, sort that of girl rose. and you're talking about? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And imagine, imagine it's a show, and then, uh, uh-huh. y- you know, everybody's, like, real white and pasty because they've never had any sun, and then there's a black mm-hmm. guy in there for, like, uh, for, like diversity. Uh, I hate stuff like that. Uh, uh, right, it doesn't make right. any sense with the lore of the world, so get out of here, blacky. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, yeah, dude. Sure. A- 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 alternate timeline where, where Nate watched Gurren Lagann, but you couldn't get past the first episode because they were all black in this timeline. <laughs> 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 oh, that's my world. that's that's real well, life. Well, here, 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 let me let me touch on this thing that I <laughs> sometimes <laughs> feel we? weird about. Um, okay, it's that like okay. Uh, okay, pretty much all, all my all in my comics and stuff. Um, everyone's white, more or less, and and mm-hmm. it's not that like, it's not like a deliberate like everyone's got to be white. It's just that's yeah, okay. think people about are it. in my brain. But we grew up, we grew up yeah. around almost exclusively white people. We, we there did. Were, there was and, like, so the little truth, diversity. The, the truth is that it, I we don't, are not I, racist for just like that sort of being our vision of like a default human being. There oh, was nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, like it's just it's just the way that it shook out. Because that certainly that, like, is for I don't, me. That certainly I don't is have for a me. lot of like I never had a lot of like black friends or anything. And yeah, the way that I see it, if I made a character and made them black, I would have two options. I, mm-hmm. I could either treat them and, and characterize them exactly as I would anyone else, which would be right. the same way as a white person. And and that would be fine and everything. Mm-hmm. Or I could like, unless the story is like about their race, but then it'd be like, well, how would I even fucking write about that? I have, See, that's, like, that's I have no, point. I have no footing he, he, in that culture. Here's, here's and, I have no, whole, and I have nothing meaningful to say. This about is the it. whole interesting right. point with social justice and how they push this forced diversity shit is that, they, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because if you, right, if yeah. you're just doing white people and stuff, and, and that's your characters, they'll be like, well, you need to have diversity. And then it's like, okay, I guess I'll add a black person. And then it's like, well, this is an inauthentic representation of X, whatever representation we want in this right. show. So right. basically, what it's really about is it's they, what they're they're saying we need more representation, but at the end of the day, what they really want, they want you to get the fuck out of there, whitey. That's look, that's here's, the here's end what I'm goal. thinking about this. I, I think it's like that, okay, I, I let's say I make a comic. 
I, I, it's all white. They're like, okay, put, put a black guy in. Okay, I put a black guy in. They're like, okay, uh, you, you did this all wrong. Like, wh why is he talking white? And I'm like, oh, uh, uh, let, let me fix that. So I make him sound black or something. They're like, well, why are you being so fucking racist right exactly. now? Why isn't he acting just like the white people, you fucking racist? Uh, like, is, is race it's, relevant uh, yeah, or I mean, not? When it comes I don't yeah, yes, know. Take, to, take it aside. When it yeah. comes the to problem people is people bitch about that. I say no, by the way. I say completely no. It's a complete social construct. If, I think yeah, there's yeah. almost no value in it, yeah, and yeah, I'd rather yeah. it like, just go oh, away. Oh, for like, sure. If, if, yeah, like, right. if, like, no matter what your race is, you're going to grow up acting like the people around you. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and to go the, back to a, a little second, bit of genetic stuff, but to go back to yeah, a second like to, what, to what Ben was saying about Poland and stuff, the interesting thing is that, like, while the the, the Poland example works, like, when people push for diversity and stuff in, like, America, I, I kind of don't feel as, as, I, as, like, it has the same thing, because we're, despite the fact that there's a bunch of different races and, and, and sexual orientation mm. stuff here, despite the very, like, surface level, like, different experiences, we're all growing up in the same culture, so our mm -hmm. experiences aren't as different as someone growing up in an entirely different country with an entire different set of cultural uh, experiences, so right, when, when right. you have something in an American setting, like that's the whole thing. The reason America worked and now like is kind of falling apart as this whole like race thing goes crazy that, is because you know, America was built on a set of values and everybody, little, regardless yeah. who they were, sh shared those values. And that's why the whole thing works. So Let when you start share, doing all this <laughs> race shit, it falls apart. This little That's this little true. race kerfuffle we're involved in. Right? This little yeah. race I, war we're about I have to an start is pretty right. fucked up. Here's 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 one example of my intense red pilling. So here here I go. I am actually angry about how much I have to think about trans people, despite them being such a tiny percent of real you know people what? in real life. You know I'm what? mad about that. I, I, I kind of am too. I, right? I agree. I agree. Why I, the fuck I, do I have to think about trans people so much when I've like, never, it's ever met one? It, it makes, virtue signaling. It, it, yeah, it makes me mad. It makes me mad that a thing can be popular for no mm -hmm. other reason than because it references or is somehow relevant to trans yeah. people. Because trans yeah. issues are what are trendy on the internet right now. Mm -hmm. Just in the fucking marketplace, they should have so little stake. And I get that we don't want them to be fucking, you know, trampled or, or discriminated against. I'm yeah. with you on that. Yeah. But why the fuck do I have to think about your problems all but the time? But I got I, my own I, problems. I, 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 I see a disproportion <laughs> with his wicked yeah, ideas. Phantom horn, yeah, yeah. Uh, angry horseman. <laughs> in, in, yeah. insane, there he is. Insanely, Ben, insanely transphobic saint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> insanely. Um, yeah. you, the, I've never met a more red pill man in my entire life than Vincent, <laughs> and you never will. Because <laughs> if there is one, I'll kill them. Yeah, um, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I just want to agree that, like, yeah, I, I feel like I hear a lot, like a disproportionate, a disproportionate amount That's of the media word. is That's is relevant word. to trans issues. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yep. You know what I'm I, saying? I'd like to hear more about furry rights. At least they look funny. At I least agree. They can, at least they're cool. Guys. And at least they like work really hard. Like Guys, that's my something mom, to be impressed by. Guys, my mom grounds me when I say fuck. It's really it's really getting to me. My mom my mom says okay. I can't say wait, nigger wait, when I'm wait, at wait. the dinner table. I, I, I wanna I wanna fucking I wanna I wanna talk about one time I saw I, I don't remember why, but I was oh I think it was when I was practicing for one of the the races. Um uh, <laughs> you yeah. had to really try to get in that way. I was practicing the black yeah. race. Just yeah, really yeah. going hard, um, you know. I right. saw I was I think I was looking at some speed running records and I saw that a couple of records in I forget what game were held by a woman and I was like, Oh, mm -hmm. whoa, well this is interesting. Like, I've like this, oh, is, this, like, is this, this like a high a high tier pro speed running female? Like, well, mm -hmm. let's go mm -hmm. check her out. Go to her YouTube channel. It's it's a trans. It's a trans Training, woman. Of course. It's a trans. Proving woman. It's that even men are better women than women. It's That's one what of, we've it's, learned here today. It's one of those ones who wears like a like a pink floofy Lolita dress and like big like big like blue banana curls. Just does way over the top and does yeah. the like ultra ultra like anime and you know girly what? style I, I would of that, beseech, that version of being a woman i would mm -hmm. beseech any legitimate trans person i think would have no choice but to completely agree with my points like for what reason are your issues forced on the like such a huge amount of media relates to your tiny little niche thing i don't ex like why the glasses fetishists of the world such as myself do not consume the massive amount of of of, of, of airwaves that like these other things do and why is that it's because nobody gives a fuck about our problems they are our own to deal with and no one should ever care about them and uh same shit here same shit here um i'll i'll go ahead and, and say something that you can't say um please do there's uh all right here's what i think here's what i think if you mm -hmm. are of a mindset 
where you do not feel okay unless you are dressed, say, as a woman, if you're if you're a biological male. If if mm. your mindset is such that like if you're not dressed as a woman, you're like you're not okay. Um, dressing as a woman is not the solution to that because like the problem is is way deeper, you know. Mm. Uh oh, insanely <laughs> transphobic. Yeah, 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 ben yeah. say it strikes yeah. again. I, there we go. And, and, and I want to say I'm not saying that someone who wants to wear a dress shouldn't wear a dress. Not what I'm saying, but I am saying right. that the solution is the. It's it's not mm-hmm. it's it's not it's not a solution to be like oh well I'm just gonna wear a dress and everyone has to call me a woman. Or else I fucking will be, I'll just break down and cry. I'll just break down and cry if someone refers to me as a man. Yeah. You know? Uh, since yeah. this is just you what know? the podcast is now, I have something to say about the transgender community. Uh, okay. okay. I, oh, no. I think a lot of the time, the way transgender people like present the issues are like are transphobic and like sexist hmm. yeah oh oh my god sexist, they're so sure. they're, they're yeah. so sexist they're so yeah. sexist oh absolutely. okay 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 the the way my ideal society would work is mulan because at the end of mulan mulan mm. has mm. like gone through all these trials and tribulations trying to be a man trying to act like what she thinks a man is to you know do all this shit right. this is reading into right. a disney movie but just bear with me but at the end mulan does cool things and she is a good person in a dress and yeah. the thing about being a man or being a woman is that it doesn't actually matter like yeah, it, right. like you can be a masculine girl and wear a dress you it just is a set of actions and ideals that you have like like not even, it's just yeah. super uh, undefined and trying to like act like oh i'm going to be a man that doesn't mean anything. That no. isn't actually no. anything. No, yeah, it, yeah. When, when, like, when, they, well, oh when they say when they say <laughs> oh, that no. gender is performative. And then they're like, okay, well, I'm going to put on a suit and, like, yeah. cut my hair short and, like, mm-hmm. you know, take hormone pills so I'm growing a beard. Well, this means I'm a man because mm-hmm. I'm performing as one. Well, shit, aren't you fucking pigeonholing what, what men are like? Mm-hmm. Like, not all yeah. men have beards. Not all men and wear not suits. Mention, not all men work out or, or no drink beer people. or whatever. You don't appropriate or, or, that culture. Well, that, that's the thing. Yeah. The, the only time it's okay to be, like, a classically beautiful woman right now, according to, you know, the current feminist ideology, is when you are a trans trans woman because then it's okay to adhere to the stereotype and you're not just you know feeding the the patriarchy by giving them what they want okay i know this is like an unfair blanket statement and i'm sure that there are exceptions uh probably a lot of them but but so but so many trans women their idea of what being a woman is is this is this overblown fucking like china doll like like hyper like hyper feminized Yeah. yeah and it's like that, that, that's you. degrading. That's degrading. <laughs> and you see, it is. And that's... It's, no, no, it is. You know what it is? It's female blackface. It's yeah, female fucking yeah, yeah. blackface is what it is. And, and this isn't oh. to say this isn't to say that like if you're a man you can't wear a dress or if you're a woman you can't wear a suit. That's what I want. No, I want you to just wear what you want because it's what you like. If but, there's some guy who's like, okay, I just want to, to look like a woman because I, that's just what I'm into, I guess. Then of course, but what, it's like what is even? There's no problem there. I but it's when you're like saying you like, saying that all men or all women are a certain way that you try and perform as like it's a fucking kabuki theater act. It ain't. There's bro. The, well, the whole here's, there's a there's a real element. There's a real yeah. element of like imposing their worldview onto the language of others and yeah, demanding yeah. that the way that others speak in a way that conforms to what they mm-hmm, believe. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it makes me mad. Okay. Well, here's that the thing. really it's makes really me mad. If we're if we're going to go down this rabbit hole and like like this is <laughs> this I is we just fucking I guess we are. I guess Apparently. what we're doing. This is the thing and I've always had a question about and I haven't been able to to get a good answer. I've talked to a couple of trans people about it and I never really get a straight answer, at least something I find satisfactory to 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 satisfy my kind of like cognitive dissonance with this is that yeah. we have this whole like kind of like blue-pilled, you know, leftist uh ideology that talks about all these issues and that's where all these talking but, but points by the really way tom from. i just want to put in here i am the most blue pill person in the entire oh, world agreed for <laughs> oh, sure, okay. Yeah. okay i i i may i'm catching up to you munchie one day yeah. i'll be as blue pill <laughs> as you are i aspire i aspire to it <laughs> well well my point is that we we talk about like or they talk about i guess i talk about i'm talking about now too about how gender is a social construct right and there's no Mm. difference between men and women men are and women are just as capable they're the same thing it's all about a performance and then Mm -hmm. you're talking about trans people and how you can be 
a man's brain trapped in a woman's body and vice versa. And it's like sure. these two statements you can't Completely have them at the same time, right? Because yeah. Yeah. if you if if gender's just a performance and, and you're trans, you don't need any surgery, you don't need any anything to kind of correct anything. You just start acting as something else. Mm-hmm. And so you I know, feel like a lot of this like social justice stuff I feel is faces so much uh I guess pushback from people because they make everything needlessly more complicated. Like, like, with, point, like we've added like 10 billion genders. Like what we should have done just be like, none of this matters. There's just, there's, yeah. we shouldn't have any difference in that, gender. There should be no that, gender that, performance. That, if you like added, took away you things, that, instead that, of adding that, things yeah. would have that made point it. You, blah, sorry. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> that, I'm, I'll go for it. That, that point you just made about how gen, the, the performative gender thing, it makes me so mad because it literally means that tomboys aren't women. Like yeah. they don't like right. if, if you if you act masculine, then you're not a woman because you're not performing the gender. Yeah. And holy fucking shit, how and fucking sexist and like fucking and fucking like conform to my worldview. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because and when fuck you, you, then you can have you people possibly who feel be? Like, I feel like mm-hmm. acting like a man, so I need I must be trans. And it's like, well, okay, but if you just feel like acting like something, just act like it. Like yeah, you don't yeah. have to make oh, a huge yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. big deal I've out had, of it. Um, I've uh, had this like thought for like a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, cause like you know, I like boobs. What if I? Hey. What if I just? What if I just had them? What if I just <laughs> got some grafted onto me <laughs> and then just right. stayed the same? And say so people would say, "Oh, so you were trans?" And I'd say, "No." I what just you, have you boobs now, idiot. I just have boobs. I just like them. Why get a good yeah. there, case? There was a chapter of a manga that I forget the name of. It's like Miss So and So's uh, Nurse Clinic, and it's about monster girls. The main character is a is a cyclops with massive tits, and she is a nurse in a school full of monster kids. I see. And, that. That's cool. Yeah, and the, and one of the chapters is about like a dude who is obsessed with tits, and like in, in this world. Whenever a, a kid like goes through puberty, they like develop their like monster characteristic, and they're all they're always different. And this particular guy who's like obsessed with tits, he himself turns like just into a woman. Like he just gets tits. Oh my god! Uh, actually, I guess that's probably the only thing that happens. I think other than that, he's still got a dick and stuff. But he's just like, you know what? Best of uh, both I like how your voice right, cracked fellas? when you said dick. I like how your voice cracked when you said dick. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, well the so the 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 ultimate point of the guy is just that like he he just like beca- he just owns it. Like, all the guys that he was, like, encouraging to, like, be leches and look at tits, now he's just like, well, now I just have this, so I will just, like, enjoy it and be able to look upon myself as, like, a sexy tit-having individual. And so he starts dressing up like a girl and just being that. But he's like, no, like, I am the manliest man in the world. I just have this awesome set of tits that I rock, and it's fucking fantastic. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to live like this forever, and it's great. Mm-hmm. So he just even be able to, is able to appreciate, like, his own body as a sexual object, uh... And it's great. And it, I, I don't know. Like, that, like, the way that he just, like, accepts what he is, like, he doesn't feel the need to, like, chop off his dick. I gotta tell you, this is where I have some issues with this. I just don't see the solution to any kind of psychological yeah. discomfort to being cutting off body parts. What? No. That's what just my other, thing. That's what my other, thing. Damn what other psychological Asian condition? Come out with some crazy pictographs nowadays. Yeah. What, what yeah. other psychological condition is the solution that you make the outside look like the inside. Like that's yeah. not done for anything right. else. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. like it like the solution if you like are depressed and and think you're ugly. They don't tell you, "Oh, well you, well, you better get some plastic surgery then so you can look the way you feel on the inside." Well, hey, no, let me, it's like fucking me, it, get your I, get your self esteem sorted sorted. Let me push back on that a out, little dude. bit though. Mm-hmm. But let's bet if there was a magical like wand you could wave to just make these transformations instantly, like would that be a different case? Um, you know, like if there was no, no surgical no, no, no. shenanigans. I, I, sorry, I'm, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get surgery. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that like getting surgery is one is one thing, but like the problems that are making you sad are another. Yeah. You know? Okay. Well, okay. Gen- yeah, gender dysphoria like is, an, is like an actual mental condition. I'm not trying of, of to under- it's undermine. It's been redefined it. now. Now it's been well, redefined. It's thing. no it's longer one. It's being redefined, and I think that's yeah. kind of dangerous because like if mm-hmm. if these people actually have a condition, I think it should be treated as a condition and not as a fad. And I feel like it's devolving into well, a Well, you know, I, I'm sure these people would say that it really should have never been like a disorder of any kind. It should have but always isn't been that, treated like Again, a, to talk more about this weird kind of like SJW yeah. hypocrisy, isn't it interesting that people wear depression and like, you know, headmates and all these weird conditions as a <laughs> disorder, as a badge of honor. But then when it comes to being trans, like it's not a disorder, that's offensive. I, I, I swear Where to say the being drawn there? J- j- even, know, man. E- even though I'm with everything said here, I just want to say that I haven't like 
actually seen any like headmates or like I haven't actually seen any Neither like have I. absolutely <laughs> crazy out there um, trans people. Most of the ones I've seen have been like pretty normal people. So you know, yeah. This is this is not I've a known comment on trans one... people. This is a comment on the ideology that's sure, pushing sure. this agenda. I think I think that right. goes without saying. But just to say it again, just in general, like. Mm -hmm. This is I I, I, I try this is not a, to argue with a, people. I try to argue against ideas because I feel yeah. like this is a yeah. philosophy yeah. discussion show. This is I, not a listen to me, you I, loser. I, I, I have known at least one show. crazy trans person who was fucking mm, mm. bizarre, and she wore she wore goat horns everywhere she went, like giant goat <laughs> in, in, in like a okay. crown and like a, a what crown are you of to flowers. Say, Dude, is, that, is that weird? <laughs> and um this is like a trans she, species thing or trying she, to be like yeah yeah she was like a goat she, yeah she was a trans oh goat God. she Whoa. talked all the time about Whoa. getting like real horns transplanted onto her head <laughs> oh, she changed, yeah. changed her name to clover because that's oh, a goat the, name oh the, huh. the <laughs> ultimate furry the ultimate furry uh like but that's, that's but, you know that's she was actually she she, uh, she was actually kind of a nice guy most of the time so whatever <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, nice I, I just want usage. to <laughs> state to go back to like the, like like the general ideas of things. I don't know if it's gonna out me as like a beta cuck loser, but I mm. don't know what these people mean when they say like I feel like a man. Like yeah, I don't what do? feel that doesn't, like that a can't, man. That can't possibly mean anything. Yeah, and even if it did, how would you fucking know? I think I yeah, think yeah. what they mean is I feel like the so the societal um like normative like generic like this is what everyone decides a man is. I feel yeah. like that. I, I, guys, yeah, I that. feel like a generic sitcom dad from the nineteen fifties, aka a man. That like that's what I think a man is. I yeah. feel like that. Like one one time what? I was talking once one time <laughs> I was talking to a guy um well a, a trans woman. Or trans girl, I just whatever, and and they were and I, they were like, well, I just I feel like a woman in my head, and I was like, well, how do you know what a woman feels like? And, mm -hmm. and like they they fucking cussed me the fuck right out. And <laughs> their shit I, on me. I I respect well, your challenge there, but I, on the other, I do want to be like, how could we really understand what they feel like? Okay, like I don't, well, I don't no, no, care that's about anyone's how does they, feelings. How do at they all? understand? Like, like, right. that, that, like there's I more going on know. here. There's the, more going on here. Because, yeah, they feel how they feel. But then they're translating it and they're saying, oh, well, I feel like that. I feel like that other group of people. And it's like, right. how the okay. fuck do you know? Okay. How do you know how what your feelings compare to theirs? Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. God damn yeah. it. Get, get uh, out of their well, head. I, I, mean, I have never um, l uh, like uh, seen like a crazy trans person. But on the topic, I have like something. It's still like a thing you can't really say because it's kind of like uh, insulting. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But... I feel like a lot of trans people, people who call themselves trans, they're not trying hard enough with the gimmick. They're not going far enough with, with the, the things. Gimmick. Like, <laughs> with the gimmick. Like, yeah. like, 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 like they, they, they say, oh, I'm this different gender, but they don't do anything about it besides maybe changing the way they dress. And sure. they, 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 they take with that, like, the whole pronoun thing, like, all this special... Like, you don't, I don't know whether these people actually have the dysphoria that others actually really do, and they're just sort of along for the ride well, because trans is a thing now, and you can yeah, be a part yeah. of a group with it. Well, like, there's no, well, like, there's no test, right? Like, there's no, there's no test that you can run to tell whether someone is really trans. Like, all that makes yeah. someone mm -hmm. trans is just it, that they say they are, which is fine. Yeah, and it, and it really like, if, if we're all agreed when, on that, when there's, okay. like, actual, like, people who are, like, really suffering mentally and they need help, and then there's other people who are just sort of like, ah, uh, yeah, I feel like, I feel like wearing jeans, I feel like wearing jeans and boots sometimes, so mm -hmm. I guess I'll be, tr I guess I'll join a right. cult, and, and I guess I'll join this culture that, like, gives me a feeling like I'm a part of something, right? Because it's not yeah. just because yeah. it's yeah. not just about yourself. It's about being no, a part of a social. It's totally movement. about oh, God. getting social currency. Yeah, that's what all yeah. of this is about. You know, that that's why I mean, it's all done. It's, it's like it's, I want about... to be a part of this group. I want to feel validated. I want to feel part of something bigger than myself. They they the and the trans community is so welcoming that they will even accept Christian Weston Chandler as one of their own and and like actually love him and respect yeah. him and be his yeah. fans even though he is the worst person in the world and should be shot dead where he stands <laughs> right now. Yeah. That's that's the final fucking straw for me. I, that's how I you know say... that this shit has gone too far. On this, on on any subject of this nature, I feel completely consistent in that I just I don't care about anyone who isn't useful to me. That's how I completely feel. And 
Man, are these people not useful to me. So I don't care about any of your problems, listeners. Any people in any of these subjugated communities, your problems are your own. They have nothing to do with me. And I hope they work out great for you. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't care. I just do not Do you know where this does become care. your problem, Nate? Do you know how Where's this that? does become your problem? This is uh, the, the culture that surrounds these movements of ostracizing and destroying anyone who disagrees right. with them. That's where the bullshit. Did you hear about what happened? This guy, he was a teacher. He's been a teacher teacher for years um mm -hmm. and he went up to these two girls who were working on like they were working diligently in his class he's like oh nice job girls like you're doing good and one of them's like how dare you misgender me and he got fired oh now, my god he got fired good. because some little girl said decided she was a guy and the parents reported it to the head of the school and he got I fired mean, he, he should have known she was a guy because she was working hard <laughs> <laughs> She was she was really oh performing the gender. Gabe, you can't you can't say oh that. You can't say those words. Oh my god, that was excellent. Oh, oh wow. zing. Oh, oh wow. there we go. You stole well, you you my point and ran with it. I mean, oh my God. I, I never intended this discussion about trans stuff <laughs> yeah, to, like, even begin. No. I wanted to talk about, like, the concept of how you're not allowed to say certain things, which but, actually is we, relevant we to what you're saying But, but instead, now. we've just spent the entire podcast saying things you're not allowed to say, I, which I, 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 I find, like, which is any of my notes whatsoever. <laughs> well, we, we can we can switch a to, back well, uh, to, like, Tom's, to, to what you guys going to go into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, words, Tom's word, point. Sorry. Okay, go on, man. Go, go, go I was, ahead. Oh, go uh, ahead. words I can't say. Uh, Worc Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. It's uh, dude, no one knows. Dude, let me know. <laughs> dude, this is like a munchy life hack dude, right it's now. Worcestershire. It's, dude, it's Worcestershire. Like, I know like it's I've heard Worcestershire. I've heard I've heard I've heard Worcestershire and I've heard Worcestershire. Like without the T. Worcester sauce. Yeah, Worcestershire. What about Worcestershire sauce, which is just Jew blood mixed with gold? Worcestershire. No, I mean it. It it is. Okay, okay, hang on. In England, I and I like assume, that. I feel yeah. like it's Worcester. Like, like that's how you're supposed to. to there, there actually is a, a Worcester, Massachusetts, is. as well. Is that where? Is that where have you, you live, uh, Tom? Ben, I can't remember. Yeah, Ben and Ornate, have you yeah. guys ever had people from out of New England come into New England and try and pronounce the words and laugh at them because, like, they're saying oh, yeah. them how they should yeah. be said? Yeah, and, and it's all, weird because yeah. they're normal to me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 hilarious. It's like yep. Worcester, yeah. English Worcester. Thanks, Gabe. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Here's a munchy life hack, and like, like res Here's like a new munchy recipe for you. I if you're out of a one sauce, I'm gonna teach you how to make munchy sauce, which is just okay. you, you you mix ketchup and Worcestershire sauce together, and it's like it's like tangier than a one, but like it's basically the same. <laughs> but like basically. <laughs> is this the is this the first episode of the new hit YouTube series Munchin' with Munchy? Oh my oh, god, I patented it. That is patented right now. Trademark. <laughs> Don't even. That's that's gonna be the future. That's coming up well, real hey, soon. That 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 point that Tom got to right at the end of that trans one. Now that that is okay. So we could talk all day about specific things you're not allowed to say. But but. What's what's interesting to me is the the consequences of saying the things that you're not allowed to say. Yeah. And specifically, uh, like yeah, it's like there. Are, it seems to me that the way it goes is you say something. I don't know. Like a, a, anyone listens to this podcast, decides that something we said is particularly offensive to them or their community, and it's would only then a go. Of time. Right, and then they would go begin to cultivate within I mean, that. Community. We're gonna get, we're gonna get roasted. We're gonna get roasted for this. No, no, for this podcast. This oh, is for this sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah. like those those yeah, guys who are those guys who are who are who are shitting we're on me on Twitter. They're they're gonna be, they're, and, yeah, they're gonna be back. Oh, I have no doubt. They will hate I have this. no doubt that we'll all be called very ignorant, uh, which I admit to. I'm totally ignorant on the subject. Although I I think that philosophically, I have found I have ground to stand I on. I just with my feel position like here. when people shit on me for thinking yeah. this way, they're really like reading a lot more into my opinion that I'm actually saying like they like, like, like they Absolutely. hear me, they hear me say that like you know oh well well how can gender be performative if like a tomboy is still a girl and they're like well quit being transphobic man P live and let live uh, uh well, why do you hate trans people yeah. see the fact that they jump from you just like asking a question or trying to examine it they interpret as an attack on yeah. like this identity in some way it's or, not you know, even that it's phobic. because there's I, I think it's worse than that I think they they 
they see it as an attack, but I think it's because this is such a mm-hmm. feelings based thing that this ideology yeah. has no logical yeah. defense. Because you'll they'll yeah. be like, you need to educate yourself, and it's like, okay, it teach me. And they're you know, like, fuck that, you, it's it, not my I, job. I, I don't think like, it's yeah. even I don't okay. think it's even controversial to say that it is all about feelings. Like, there's nothing else there. That's true. And I, I mean, I, I guess know, there's I some have, studies. I, I guess there's some studies, but the studies are all about feelings. You know, my, my whole thing that I said before about how I don't give a shit about how anybody feels or anyone's you know feelings or whatever like that's only because that's not out of like uh malice or anything it's because i don't think you can get to truth by just listening to the way people saying how they feel about shit because all these other things get bottled in i just want to examine fucking data that as as objectively as possible categorize the i want people to be as happy as possible including trans people and like i don't know like the suicide rate is really high for trans people even after operations so is that necessarily the best way to go yeah i want the best opportunities for them possible and like and like and like people's feelings are valid and like people feel the way that they feel and i would never tell Tell someone, no, you don't actually feel the way that you say that you feel, but you can't make you know, sweeping generalizations yeah. you about why, your you your feelings facts... in comparison to others. Because you, you can't you can't fucking tell mm-hmm. another person how they feel, which I really think a lot of this a lot of this ideology really toes the line well, that's, towards yeah, doing. That's yeah. the thing. The reason that we value facts over feelings even to begin with, because it's easy it's easier to to have feelings than to get the facts, right? But the reason the facts are more important is because they're universal. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's the whole thing, because when you when we start taking feelings super seriously, it inevitably leads to nothing because facts, your facts feelings are, the language are different we than can my actually feelings. communicate with each other right. with that, and, and that's understand why they're what so we're valuable. saying. It's a, it's a yeah. it's a it's a shared baseline that we can build things off of. Whereas right. if we start taking feelings into consideration, I feel different than Ben then feels different than Nate that feels different than Munchie and none of us could ever get anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't mm-hmm. know. That sounds like fake news to me. I don't there's, know, dude. Yeah, there, I there's think you're no, not red pilled enough for this fucking truth bomb. <laughs> there's no, there's no basis. There's no basis for comparison when we're talking about feelings. You know, right? So it just gets really complicated guys, and tricky. I, well, and, uh, here's a feeling for I, you. I love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gabe, Gabe, were you saying something there? Well, uh, I was just gonna say I'm pro-phobic. I I love homophobes <laughs> and transphobes. I you love guys fear. I'm a big proponent of fear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me just big, say. Okay. Big up we're talking about homophobes. Let, let me just drop a bomb on this things you can't say. Okay. What, let, let me. This is just me giving an example of something that you cannot say or like it's over for you. Okay. Here's here's this thing that I do not actually believe. But here I go. Feel free to cut this, everybody, and pretend this is what I actually think <laughs> for the rest of time. Okay. It is impossible for the white race to share a nation state with other races. Therefore, the white race needs their own ethno state. Like mm. what do you? Some there's Richard there's what some people think. Compelling. That, <laughs> right. That, that's that's the alt right position. It is. And it's like, okay, what if you believe that? What happens when you believe that and say that publicly? You are you're fucking you're, dead. You're done. You get it's punched all, in the face on I mean, the sidewalk during an interview. I don't know, because now you've got a lot of friends that are with you. Well, that 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 is true. You've got the alt right movement you got, with you. you the, got, the, the real no, right movement's got, not very big though. Let's be I, real. It's yeah, well, it's, it's big enough that it scares me. So you the, know, that's my es- feeling I, on the, the subject. The estimations I've heard is there's maybe fifteen thousand people in the alt right. Well, okay, but you know what? Like, it's like kind of like it's kind of like with like the jihadist movement. Hundred people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> I, I mean, well, I have I have personally known people who. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess they didn't come right out and say that they're alt right, but like they definitely had like leanings in that direction well sure, it's hard sure. it's hard to be a white person and not sympathize to some degree at this point <laughs> considering, ev- sure. considering considering everything's about race now it's like well i guess i'm a white C- person so C- i guess considering I gotta... everything that we as a people have been through <laughs> it's um... very true yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well okay here's here's a thought uh uh you know the the white race specifically uh like gets gets lambasted in a lot of ways these way these days publicly as uh and it's, it's like totally acceptable to make sweeping generalizations about specifically that race and no others uh yeah. but but here's yeah. i i think it's totally Cause, cause useless that's, that's and extremely up. harmful because that's punching up right. and everyone right. loves that, punching up that's that's punching up right well there's Which like a statistic that... floating around that i heard that like 50 something percent of white people in mm-hmm. america feel that they're being discriminated against now like that's an insane that's right. metric that's right. but, like, but when you hear about but like yeah, they're not actually discriminated against, right? But then you all these talking points, like you're 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 culturally lambasted all the time, like Nate just said. Mm-hmm, and of right. course, of course, people notice that. We just you're just not allowed socially to say anything about it. So yeah. it's yeah. it's it's really just 
I gotta say, it's, uh, there, it's fucking there's definitely it's there's dumb. definitely a frustration when you're just like, okay, here's what, here's what I feel I am. I consider myself basically above even considering the concept of race and it's like basically useless to me so yeah. so here i am just being like okay i'm a human individual and this is like the individualistic philosophy of just like everyone run your own shit and just like get ahead do whatever you can do and everyone should just try it. and i want the people who are the best to succeed Nate, and propagate their fucking genes and ideologies because you're not yeah, allowed to say that either exactly That'll get you but then like but up. then like Okay, but then you see, I don't know, like, uh, the Neo-Black Panthers, or just whatever, like, uh, the Islamics or whatever. I, I, I don't know. Any, like, racial group. Is right. Any other then... racial <laughs> supremacist like, group. Sure. Yeah. I don't fucking know. But any, any like, racialized group then says, like, okay, uh, no, like, uh, we're here to root for, like, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, like, Arab people. Like, we're here championing Arab people. And then, okay, if they're... They're sort of weaponizing their racial group. And then you're over here saying, like, okay, but I don't identify with my racial group. I'm just an individual operator. It's like you can't contest them. It's like they are just they just go unopposed in saying that, mm. like, we need to advocate. And they're, like, reinforcing thinking along well, racial lines, you know, I'm which gonna, is an issue. I'm, I'm I don't gonna, know if I agree with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to no? come out and, and say something uh, that I don't know if you'll agree with. But, like... Okay. White white people because they're the minor sorry because they're the majority mm. or like culturally the majority at least in our culture um, they have they have the benefit of being the the default and they have they have the privilege mm. and it is mm. a privilege of they have the privilege of like living without thinking about their race whereas like people in marginalized groups and people in minority mm. groups don't really have that privilege and they are kind of forced to confront like the reality of, of See, like, I, race. I don't argue and, with that. Okay, I don't argue yeah. with that. Yeah. So yeah. so I, I get it. Like I get why marginalized groups need like yeah, like it's it, Do you think okay, well, I don't know. A, I, I, this, this is, is definitely I, coming from a position of privilege, but I wish they wouldn't do that and that no one ever would. Like well, I wish white people and every group wouldn't like it would be, be racist. I mean, it and would then be I wish nice the other people wouldn't feel, feel the need to inculcate themselves in their yeah. racial identity because I it think would, it's all bad. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice. It would be yeah. it would be nice if nobody felt the need to do that but like right. by being by yeah by being in the minority and marginalized you know mm -hmm. I, I i i get it i get i get the the, the reasoning where like we we got a band together and like it's like it's like how i it's like how i see people who are religious and everyone's like oh but you like religion is is a, is a helpful tool okay but like even if you talk to like a lot of atheists oh. like like stefan molyneux is an atheist but would say like okay religion like is, is sort of a support structure that helps humanity and i'm like okay but it's not true. And he's like, yeah, of course. I'm like, o okay, uh, so how do we, like, fix this? He's like, what do you mean? I don't know. Uh, let we just keep doing it. It's like, okay, we okay. can recognize this, this, this has a place in the world. Like, it makes sense why it's here, but let's just try to get past it as soon as possible. Let's, let's, let's leave this shit behind because it is an old thing that drags us down and we should move past it eventually. And I'm thinking mm -hmm. about doing that. I want to do that as soon as possible. That's where my focus is. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, like, no, no, That's I what think, I think, I think Religion, religion's interesting. Religion. There's, a, yeah. there's a guy, Dennis Prager, who makes the argument, and he's not the first yeah. person to make it, of that without religion. There's a guy called religion. Dennis the Menace, hardcore atheist. <laughs> he kinda, he, oh, you know, he kind of looks like an old Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Yeah, this this guy's a big conservative it. guy, uh, Prager University and shit. Yeah, yeah but yeah. but he, he made the point, um, I mean, he's made it before, but I saw it on the Rubin Report. He made the point that mm. um, without, without, without religion, there's no uh, objective morality. Mm -hmm. so, like in a in a social con Aww. context, right? Because um, so, without without one fake thing, you can't assume belief in another totally fake right. Thing. Because <laughs> yeah. the, the the argument is that I mean he is religious, but even like saying even right. like saying that it's like I don't believe in religion. So, but even putting that aside, like if if everyone believes in something, then the entire social uh, construct, like the social contract, has a baseline of ethics. Or, or value systems to work up from. It's the same thing I was talking before about America, right? That's kind of what mm -hmm. America was. It was a baseline that everybody who came here could agree with and work off of. Um, yeah. But the argument is once you take away religion, everything becomes subjective because it's just human interpretation. Well, mm -hmm. because America that's the reality. The because right. in reality, yeah. everything is subjective. And, and while it's, yeah. it's I, I'd agree, it's way more difficult to work in that paradigm of saying everything's subjective. How do we come to a consensus? I think it's more valuable long term. But I think yeah. the reason religion yeah. has been around so long is because it's an effective shorthand for that. Yeah. It's like, of yeah. course, all the You're Christians right. work this way. So in our in our Christian culture, this is the value system. And we don't have to think about it anymore. We're all but on the same like, page it's, inherently. It's, it's like it's like I think that's why Islam is doing so well, too, because everybody, you know, to, to some degree. 
agree is it's, on the same okay. page. <laughs> it's like you're, it's like you're with, with, with this shit, with these like idea systems and, and, and systems of like belief that really function as control mechanisms uh, for like societies. It's like you're playing Spore. Oh my and God, everyone's Spore, playing on like yes. the, the greatest game I've ever made. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. It's like you're playing Spore and you're playing like on like on the cell level where you're just like eating cells and like, okay, we're, we're living on the cell level where we just, we understand the rules at play here. But at some point, you eat enough cells and you grow big enough where, where it does, it does the zoom out to like the next level so now we're aware of this like larger context and like you can still play the little cell game and like you can see that at a much lower level but we're now aware of all this truth about the larger universe beyond this and and it's time to we need to slowly adjust from thinking just on that cellular level to the like small organism level or whatever it is and i think that that's the way that like understanding more of the truth of the universe has to work like people are stuck mm -hmm. down at this like lower level thinking which is like religious thinking but then we realize that okay none of this is true we need to expand the way we think about all yeah. these frameworks I and adjust it. our reasoning for that i shit. see what i'm it. saying you're talking about leveling up my christ consciousness <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly right exactly trying right. to rev up those merkabas guys i'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah. race and top of the mountain my, in, in my sick ass merkaba <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like you know life is like life is like that game life is like a that that mini game at the end of a level of Kirby where you got to time your jump yeah, to yeah. like see how high <laughs> and it's like just like who can who can who can ju who can ride their Merkaba to the highest dimension <laughs> right of yeah. course and the winner the winner gets to eat a tasty tasty higher dimensional spirit yeah, yeah it, 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 it's how blitz is Kirby gonna be that like the lowest level is the root chakra and then the top level is the crown chakra and that's mm. and that's that's the amount of chakras you're gonna be fucking living off of hey i have one other thing just one other like idea i want to touch on that relates to just uh like things you can and can't say mm -hmm. and it's the idea that like in context some things that you can't say normally you can say and specifically Kirk kirby is what reminds me of this it's that like so <laughs> you can that, say nigger and kirby well i mean that well you, you kind of can uh because believe in the weeb episode uh, season two episode don't. three just came out <laughs> and it's everyone should watch it it's it's very good no, it's very don't fucking watch funny. It. Please don't. But, but watch it's like, it. but it's like our friend Munchie here. Like the, the conceit of the episode is that Munchie is the our... biggest race realist uh, who ever lived, <laughs> and is 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 a big fan of the racial slur. And yet, I don't think anyone <laughs> has has come away from watching that video and thought like anything negative about about Munchie. And I mean, I can't imagine why you would. Mm -hmm. It's it's just so like within the context of the video, it's so ridiculous and over the top. And this is like the comedian effect. Like comedians can get away with saying things that we like your to. average person cannot. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, and I just think more, that's but... real interesting. I would like to this is a good point. I, I don't want to come back to it, but I just want to say for the okay. record about the plebe and the weeb. Uh, hmm. uh it was it was at like six thirty in the morning. I I had been up for like an entire day <laughs> and also it was a year don't, ago. Don't and it. also Dude, I'm sorry just, I'm not funny. I swear to God aw, aw, that I'm funnier never now. Apologize. It's <laughs> the first rule, dude. No, it's no, it's right. No, I'm I'm so sorry. I, I will say though that I do think you've you've evolved significantly over the past year uh, mm -hmm. since since Radcon two, which is which, when, when was your like first PCP entrance? I mean, you were probably on one before that, but like you became like a main dude after that I, sometime. The, the first True. episode I was on was memes that need to go, need to die, but I don't remember what my first like I am a member was. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, what I don't remember. Yeah. It was after that at any rate. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm so sorry. Excellent. Uh, about like the context <laughs> in which you can say things. Yeah. I exist in like a weird like limbo land i live in california mm. in a big city and all mm. my fans or all yeah all my fa all my friends <laughs> are blue pilled as fuck but the mm -hmm. actual town that like i like go to and interact with on a daily basis is super red pill like 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 fucking blue lives matter flags everywhere you know like, oh, okay, you, you, can, okay. you can't walk down the street without seeing a trump hat B blue lives as opposed to blue pilled lives yeah, i yeah, get yeah, just yeah, confused yeah, exactly. a lot right okay okay <laughs> so no matter what I say if I'm if I'm in this town with my with my blue with my cuck friends, which and, is San Diego, right? That's that's the city. Uh, I'm thinking about specifically like a small like suburb. That's like, it, oh, okay. yeah, it, like it is San Diego, mm -hmm. but like it, it's called Coronado. It's it's like a like a mm -hmm. like a jump away, but okay. like basically it, it's in the metro area. Like like mm -hmm. they're the same city basically. Uh, yeah. So like like if I were to say something there, then no matter what, I would have someone who hates me. 
And it's just like, like, you just have to play <laughs> the mood constantly in whatever context that you're in. You know, it, like, yeah. if what I'm going to say, like, here, beneficial to me, because I, I'm just going to come out re- here and say it. Like, I, I censor myself sometimes. Like, while mm-hmm. I, like, we realize yeah, the value and meaning to. in saying nigger, I realize that, like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. like, this will make, this will make my friend sad if I say nigger. And, right. like, you know, uh, <laughs> like, 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 saying, like, fuck you know a, a generic swear word is incredible and makes you a better person on average but like going to a funeral only sometimes it, 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 only sometimes, only sometimes experience can you say is, nigger. yeah yeah only sometimes <laughs> can you say fuck and like you know like like the, it only sometimes it improves the experience but i've been kicked out of far too many morgues to continue my hedonistic <laughs> lifestyle of going up to random corpses and screaming obscenities you know like like I, I, I like I, saying I, nigger, I, I but I just too. have to realize the mood, and you know, like, like I'm fine. Like, like yeah, I care yeah. about my relationship with my blue plate friends more than I care about saying nigger in this exact moment. Like, yeah, like yeah, in this context, I don't. It need just goes to, to show it. that like feelings it's, it's is some, what dictates whether or not these things are okay or not. It's yeah, yeah. all an emotional state that yeah, yeah. defines yeah, this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Here's here's like on that point is like another thing that you know it's kind of like stupid to say. Like sometimes censorship is not even a big deal. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like uh, people it are just. Isn't the kind? Yes, because like, like well, um, everything yeah. it's like a, you're, you're, you're not supposed to, to to say certain things in certain places, and sometimes it doesn't even fucking matter. So you know yeah. why not? Who cares? Like censorship isn't you, you know. I, I I was just trying to be like 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 extra blue pill like censorship is good sometimes like yeah. whoa that's something you don't hear mm-hmm. that's something that's, you're not that's, really that's like allowed cool, to say. Like, YouTube <laughs> a clickbait thumbnail they click on the video it's like actually yeah. a far more reasonable point. I mean, like, when I, you I go and agree, meet, though, for, yeah. if you go and meet, like, your fucking, I don't know, like, you hang out with, like, your grandparents or something, like, you're not gonna mm-hmm. act the same way with your grandparents that you do on, like, your your red-pilled on podcast the PCP, on the yeah, internet. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I you act know. way more red-pilled with my grandparents. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, else. I could, you know, maybe they're... You were just in Germany, probably visiting Hitler's great and saluting uh, extensively. I, 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 I walk up to my grandmother. All right, guys, time for another episode of Arm Retrieval. Uh, you know, Andrew Hussey <laughs> is a fucking nigger hack, and I'm here to explain you all the reasons why. <laughs> and he's like, oh, that munch. He's at it again. <laughs> Yeah, you, ju- you, you only record arm retrieval when they're in the room. It, yeah. When they're not there, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it just it, it just all falls apart. Well, I um, guess we we've gone through a gamut here. So what else what else should we touch I, on before we I, end our our discussion? I, I would like subject. to talk about we've talked about like mm-hmm. like the controversial. You know, we talk about nigger, which, by the way, mm-hmm, I just want to mm-hmm. say, like, we talk about all the negatives and positives. I love saying nigger as demonstrated in the, the plea, thing the about nigger is that it, it's the it's yeah. the it's the word that makes people the angriest. So it's mm-hmm. the one that you want to say to piss people yeah. off, which is why like I, nigger I is love, such a common okay, word. Can I, on, like, can, I, can I pose I love a question being before we go for any time. further? Yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Is it? Do you? Because th- I feel, and maybe this is just me, and that's why I want to pose the question. See if I'm like crazy or this is totally a thing. Are swear words and racial slurs the most phonetically pleasing things to say, yes. or is that just me? Like that, 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 that is that is me as well. That is me. Like, a lot some, of them are it's, pretty gruesome. Some, I think that the reason they become used as words meant to hurt people is because they have a punchy sort of feeling to them, like yeah. cunt. I, you know, you call somebody a cunt, it feels great. Yeah, because just, of the way it I don't sounds. know. It's just but all it was those only just, be- they it feel only good to say, and I hate. I kind of hate sound. that. Because it, not not even just because like it, it gets you into trouble like racial slurs because you like you want to yeah, say them yeah. but just like I say fuck so much just because like it just it feels good to say it yeah it, it feels and visceral. it's a great it, go it has great to... kinesthetics unironically I mean I I, th- I would I, I would imagine that like racial slurs like like nigger wop kike like they're all they were come up with like probably by like your smarmy sailor types just like leering over the bar at like <laughs> those people they don't fucking care for very much thank you very much yeah. uh, so by Christ he's a fucking gook he's a fucking yeah. wop you know yeah, like yeah. fuck that guy <laughs> well, 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 well wop is the sound that spaghetti makes when you drop it down to the fucking ground like you're gonna drop a fucking the- italian's head down to the fucking <laughs> ground <laughs> is that true is that where that fucking comes I'm, from I'm, I'm i'm fairly certain yes no that, the no, sound of that gre- is, those no, greasy is a, locks is slapping against the floor tiles I, wop yeah. is an abbreviation i, I, I think it stands i think it stands for without passport because they're like oh, illegal really? immigrants okay. or something was the original idea that's what i heard 
Like, yeah, even, that, that one's not like a, phonetically based. Even um, even Kraut, like 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 the World War Two thing Kraut, where you call right. the Germans the Krauts, mm-hmm. like that has a, a, like a consonance, like uh, whatever that word is, like it 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 has like a punchiness, mm-hmm. uh, like a like a sharpness to it. Any yeah. word like that mm-hmm. is useful for for sounding like powerful and in command and aggressive. It's and so any any bloop. any word that has ever been used to like hurt people has had that sort of sound in it. Mm-hmm. Can we agree, at least on this, if nothing else, that the the nation state of Niger must <laughs> change its name to make me more comfortable looking at the world map? It's mm-hmm. the only thing I <laughs> It's not They're really dragging down the rest like of us Nigel. with that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, how, how are we supposed to operate in this blue-pilled, feminized, cuck world that I live in and advocate for every day yeah. on my blue-pilled podcast, the PCP, that <laughs> how can I live knowing there's a country called nigger? How can I yeah. live with that? I just, it, it tears it, me up inside. It's truly too much to bear. Those we, black we, people we should, are the most should... racist <laughs> against black people in the world, and it's a big we, problem for we me. We should need fucking to be destroyed. bomb the fuck out of it. Destroy, wipe <laughs> it off the map, kill all people yeah. there, just, just forget about it. Indeed. I, Indeed. Nuclear bomb. I the reason <laughs> like the reason I like nigger. It's funny that you bring up like it, like it's it's it, like it is the worst. So it's funny to make people. It is mad, the but, worst. But I Absolutely. don't. I I don't actually agree with like I like I don't set out. None of my actions are inherently to make other people upset. That is usually actually the opposite of what I want to do. The, oh, of course. Yeah. But it's it's like it's the reason they're fun to say. Yeah. Because it's well, like, like a you're just you're word. just a ball of like insane energy, and like yeah. you're obviously not like when you go on a rant about how mm. Kirby is your fucking nigger for getting yeah, the yeah. star rod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, who in the world would like ever be offended by such a thing? It, it would yeah. be well, inconceivable to well, be that's like, the mad like we're that. talking about context, and that's like so important right. like the context of that has yeah, nothing yeah. to do with like a racial insult you know yeah because exactly people what, get so yeah. pissed off when you say those words because of like the con like the historical kind of it's usage the of them yeah but at the yeah. same time like it's when you when you're saying something like that there's no insulting context like is it really more offensive for me to go up to a black person and be like you fucking nigger than it is to go mm-hmm, up to a black mm-hmm. person and be like the color of your skin disgusts me and makes me feel like you're less of a human being than i am right mm-hmm. right dude you should do a prank video with <laughs> 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 oh my uh, well okay here's where i where i, where I drop like a, a munchy lore bomb because there's okay. actually a reason i use nigger a lot uh okay. in the context that i do i this, almost got through the entire kinda... show not saying it damn it i was so <laughs> close <laughs> <laughs> i um uh, uh, this doesn't happen always because i've kind of fallen off the bandwagon and it's just it's just too fun to say nigger and i say it in context and i, and right. I let my discipline right. down however the original t- uh, reason I, I i set out to use nigger a lot is because one like uh, like the most important thing about it is that it's phonetically pleasing and it's really punchy and fun Absolutely. to say. Absolutely, it's just however, like how drawing a swastika just feels. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just feels right. It just is good. Yeah, but I I I I realize I like like I am again a blue pilled cuck, and right. you know I didn't want to make anyone <laughs> feel bad that I was using the term nigger, even though I just mm-hmm. wanted to in the base of my soul. So right. I tried to remove nigger from its cultural context as much as possible that's you see the this thing right in there. in mm-hmm. the kirby episode there are no black people i am not saying this at Af- like, like like this african this this fucking slave here i'm saying mm-hmm. this like this like snail this like gross snail monster is a nigger what does that mean exactly the uh, answer okay, is to, that to, it means absolutely nothing the, and to the, remove the, that the, from its actual cultural context just makes it a fun thing to say the Ooh. only way Ooh. i think that Cut someone could nigger. like take this in an insulting way is they'd be like okay the fact that you're calling a character a nigger means that you're saying like oh this person is as lowly as the lowly nigger would be I, like the thing no. they're I but like say, oh, I'm with you though. Like yeah. what you're doing is robbing it of its exactly. insulting I'm trying significance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. yeah, I feel, I feel the same way. Because I okay, I like the I like the feeling of like being like an asshole and throwing out insults and like treating yeah, people, yeah. you know, like <laughs> like 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 I'm so fucking great. I'll call you some I'll just be like you you suck, you peon. Yeah. Um, but I also mm-hmm. 
hate hurting people's feelings. Yes, so what I, me too. So ex- me too. I know ex- exactly. Same. So, exactly so what I same. so what I often do. My favorite insults are the ones that mean literally nothing. That's why my favorite insult is to call someone a fuck because what does that mean? Nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's, there's, there, that that insult has no content to it at all. Mm-hmm. Um, my so favorite I like it. type of insult and and like threat of violence are the ones where <laughs> there isn't actually any violence being con- like conveyed. Yeah, like I'm yeah. not actually say I'm not actually saying like I'm going to hurt you. My my one of my favorite insults is I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. pick you up. I'm gonna put you down. Like, 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 what, like, what does that mean? What does it, it that carries, mean exactly? It carries all the attitude. It carries yeah. all the attitude of bravado of like a threat without exactly. any actual I, threat being made. Exactly. Yeah, it it's like, it's like beyond it. like kind of, swearing. It's like a post swear. It's like yeah, so yeah. beyond yeah. swearing. Post yeah. swearing. Post, <laughs> yes, post threat that post swear. <laughs> yeah. So, so, like sometimes it. what I like doing is is instead of like doing any of that violent stuff, is just to 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 wish like a very mild. <laughs> Not and sorry that they die. Like, 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 <laughs> uh, like. I, I hope, I hope you stub your toe and then you know you fall over. Like, like yeah. something like that mm-hmm. wouldn't hurt, but it would hurt. You know, yeah. like it, it would just like fuck. I'm really we, annoyed I that I stubbed all, my toe. You know, I think we all really like utilizing these very like light. You know what's kind uh, of lightly aggressive about things? those is that mm-hmm. yeah. If you if you say I hope you know fuck you I hope you go die like they're just like yeah whatever but you say fuck yeah. you I hope yeah. you stub your toe and then later they stub their toe like damn it they did it to me <laughs> yeah, that's true <laughs> that's things that 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 kind of that kind of sticks with you I'm, I feel like <laughs> I feel like this post swearing world is a world I want to live in now <laughs> yeah you yeah. get there together yeah. everybody I, I I cannot wait for the, the hashtag post swear to cash on <laughs> I'm so happy. It, well, I, guys, I love it. Uh, Every, what else? I mean, I feel like we've done a, a quite. I'm glad that we got to this point at the end. This is this is where I was immediately thinking that in I, the discussion would go. I, I just want to yeah. comment before mm-hmm. on the overuse, the idea of uh, angry video game nerd syndrome, as as I've titled mm-hmm. it, mm-hmm. the use of using too many swear words. Because okay. I view it a lot like legendary Pokemon, like the reason, useless, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, Yes, it, it, uh, yes, almost exactly. Because mm-hmm. okay, swear, the reason I like swear words, and I think we all do, is because they they are special. I, as we, uh, even though we will say, you know, swear words aren't that bad, and you know, you should be able to say swear words to kids, and you know, scream obscenities at your toddlers, and that should be okay. At the mm-hmm. end of the day, it's almost good that they that they that is the, because that gives them their power. Yeah. If I heard it's what I said at the very beginning, fun, yeah, like, well, like, I'm saying it's, I'm it's... I'm saying it better because I'm not. You get okay. I'm gonna <laughs> slam you down. Oh God. Okay, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, I uh, on yeah. that topic. I think the point you were making. I watched a little video by a, by a man named Steve recently. Yes. It was just about yes. how legendary Pokemon that are just given to you well. are pieces of <laughs> shit and terrible, and how you had mm-hmm. to fucking uh, search for Mewtwo and the original birds and and mm-hmm. and dig in deep down deep inside and mm-hmm. catch them. Uh, that was the good shit. Uh, mm-hmm. Stop giving me legendary Pokemon. Exactly. Pokemon, your your shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do they really give you the legendary straight up swear words. In Sun and Moon, they just give them to you, basically. Yeah. 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 Wait. wait. Yeah. You get to the end of the game and then you get them. What? You have to catch them. And the game will not let you proceed until you catch them. So you you are forced to catch them. And they won't even object. They immediately go in the ball if you just throw the ball. So I guess Luke I I guess Lucario is not a legendary, but they just give you a Lucario in Well that's bad too. I want to earn my fucking I think or black and white, I forget. I think it was black and white. Well, Pokemon sucks. Gen two was the best. Gen 2 was the best, objectively. Dude, Actually, Heart, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Best. That yeah, is yeah, the yeah. peak yeah. Pokemon yeah, experience. I mean, if, if, uh, yeah, if, something if you're just... not allowed to say. I like Gen 3. That's the good one. Nobody <laughs> likes that, Gen that, 3, that, Gib. That is Get literally the, the most out. popular opinion. I, as I say, Nate says no one likes Gen 3. I hate those fucking trumpets. I'm going <laughs> to go. I'm going to die Gen, on that hill. Oh, I'll those Gen 3. What, oh, trumpets? I'll what the fuck are you talking about? What the trumpets? trumpet music in Gen 3 sucked ass. Those synthesized trumpets, it sounded like someone was like farting really high pitch. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you... Okay. <laughs> they fucking suck. I hate them. Look, what, what the fuck ever? Okay, well, here's takes the thing. at least six points off the metagame score. It does. Metacritic score. Six out of ten, me. too much trumpets. IGN reveal. Any, okay, anything, anything like Gen 4 trumpets. or later, if that's your favorite Pokemon, you're a literal baby and you, you don't matter. Will if you do like, no. if you're, day that if you're black and white 2, black and white 2 is a great. 
great fucking. Oh, Pokemon you're a baby. Game. Get the fuck out of here. I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking knock Pokemon you guys into one another. How about Gen that? Gen three is your favorite I... Pokemon game. You're 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 a literal autistic uh 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 sixth grader is what I'm gonna say. Gen and if you like Gen four one, is the best if you generation. Like Gen one, you're a shitty no, Gen one er, and I have no that, respect so for you. I, Gen so two is the elated. only good I'm, option I'm, for favorite I'm, I'm Gen so of Pokemon. I'm happy. The the, the, the the big <laughs> argument was just Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, Pokemon we're not, is something that people of all creeds can come together and bitch yeah. about. Okay, we're, we're, all, on the same, we're all on the same page about trans issues, about Gamergate, about all <laughs> yeah. that. Like that, like yeah. we solved that. We've solved that. We're onto the real problems now. <laughs> look, look, all, the trans issues and the racist stuff that was the cellular level. Now we're what, moving on. What does on it mean to, our... to feel like yeah, you're macro, that you like the, the generation level. one Pokemon more? What does that the mean to feel like? The discussion about which Pokemon Gen is is best is so much more relevant to my life than the trans <laughs> debates and the trans yeah, yeah. issues. So true, uh, true. that's why I care about it. <laughs> uh, to go back to what I was saying, just to just close this up. Uh, okay. I don't like it when you know people just say fuck or shit randomly, as I <laughs> demonstrated in the plea mm -hmm. and the weeb. Oh God, kill me. The reason that's not cool is because you there is no class to it. There's no there's no sense of like oh God, he's saying that word right now. He's making yeah. a conscious effort to say that now it is important and special it's just here. yeah like you know if, if, if everything always. you know what i if, will if say you're, if your undertale is like is is at maximum intensity all the time yeah. then there will be no peaks and valleys in your undertale and it'll exactly. be a bad undertale well so, here's here's i think specifically that. in media i think that over swearing had its time like i think i think the angry video game nerd in particular yeah. is a great historical snapshot of how media mm -hmm, has evolved mm -hmm. with the rise of the internet because if I you agree. watch an episode of south park or something on tv back when the internet like youtube was still a wee babe and they had like a swearing spree it was just like a bunch of bleeps and it just turned into nothing whereas mm -hmm. you watch like an episode of the angry video game nerd having only been able to watch tv and youtube being a baby thing all of a sudden this guy's on a screen stringing swears together that you only hear with your friends You're like holy shit this is crazy and like yeah, that was really right. novel for a time okay. now it's I... like passe because everybody can do it so now we're now we're in the post swearing uh society this game makes me well, feel bad i really i think i think that's true i think that like i think that like the older generations like are more like baby boomers are really offended by swear words and like millennials a, a, as just don't been saying the ultimate baby well, you know, boomer you know what's, <laughs> well, you know what's interesting uh, I, I've actually been getting some comments recently on like on like my Star Wars video for example that I, I made on my channel um, where like uh, I've distinctly noticed like some older people you know probably like old school Star Wars fans like clicked on the video to watch it where I'm like comparing Star Trek doesn't matter uh, which did I say Star Wars I, I meant yeah, Star yeah, Trek I meant, I meant Star Trek um, disgusting and, uh, I know I, I would never Talk about Star Wars. Disgrace. Uh, yeah, you cannot say Star Wars to me. Don't say it. It's all, <laughs> it's all Star Trek all day. Uh, uh, and I know, like, I, I've actually been taking some notice of this myself. How I use the word "fuck" like a lot, all the time, just in like my daily speech. And yeah, I actually think it's a little bit getting in the way of the message I'm trying to convey, like in my Weagawa videos. So I've actually been thinking that I'm I'm trying to actually reduce it, just because I don't like for the for the vehicle that that show is. I don't think it actually like adds to it particularly. And I think if it distracts people from the point I'm trying to make, then like I wouldn't want to. Whereas you know something like a. a uh, like, but, but what I will say is, like, guys like Digi or, like, I don't know, uh, like, other other YouTubers who are just common, like, interweaving just the word fuck into the script just, you know, like, once in a while has become super common. And, like, everybody does it now. Whereas, like, older, like, on TV, of course, it would never happen. So I, I actually like that the words, these swear words have been, like, more interwoven into everyday usage. And to use them sparingly is, like, not even blinked at. People don't even bat an eye at, like, just the insertion of the word fuck at, like, a... Uh, a relatively appropriate moment, and I think that is a very positive way that we're going. Yeah. I like it. I like. I, it. I, I completely it, it, agree. It, it, yeah, I mean, swear words—they're really always have been like. Um, if you want to be controversial, you use them. So, mm -hmm. and, and now, like in the internet, you can find all types of different people. You can find, you know, if, mm -hmm. if, if I'm in a, a if a I'm in a room, on a, like a potato cam. If I'm in a, if, if I'm together. in like a, like a, like a place with, full of red, red pilled people, I'll say something mm -hmm. blue pilled to rile them up. Cause I like doing that. And it's, I mean, it's funny. Yeah. For, for and me, it's if like, I'm in a place full of blue pilled, I'll say, you know, a nigger <laughs> or whatever. It's, it's, it's for it's, me. It's like, it's like, uh, it's similar to how I think there should be a, a state enforcement to include a certain percentage of like erotic content in all media. I think okay. this should be enforced. Right. And the reason, 
reason is because with the increasing control parents have over their children and how they won't let them go out and just like fuck strangers the way they used to, I think mm. it behooves mm. us to Bummer. make sure that children are exposed to a certain degree of sexual content so they know what the fuck's going on. This is a literal thing. I, I I'm, just, I'm passing I, I, legislation in my state I, at the moment, <laughs> and it, we're going to expand it globally soon enough. So, I really uh, like, I really like, like that's like, the quotas the, the, the that people want to see, everybody. <laughs> that's what you're going to be saluting. I, that's the flag I, I, you're going to salute in the morning at fucking uh, on Christmas Day, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But Get Nate, ready gonna, for it. Nate, what are you going to do when they start really having like, like uh, racial <laughs> and sexual orientation quotas in the, the, the sexual content they expose children to? That's just, oh it, no! It, well, you know I'm I'm 100 anti race mixing. I can there could be yeah, none of that. There could be yeah. none of this, right? Okay, yeah, that'll be a big problem. We'll deal with that when it comes up. Well, you you'll, you'll, you'll have a powwow with Richard Spencer about no, it how to tackle yeah. that. It was, a, it was a fucking joke, and I couldn't get in. Now the time's passed, so fuck it. Uh, oh, I'm angry now. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Hopes no. all of us stub our toes after this show. <laughs> I hope you stub your fucking dad's toe. Oh and my god! He gets god. mad at you for it. He had Not nothing to do with this. How dare say you? Say what you want about me, this. but lay off the dads. You aren't allowed to say that, Gib. <laughs> uh, um, well, guys, shall we go to the questions nigger. now? I think, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we've reached that point. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like it. Okay, uh, 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 everybody, oh, uh, don't forget to uh, patron us at patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Please, so that you're in please, our fan God. Discord. <laughs> please, <laughs> Lord, for, for, for Jesus', Jesus sake, Lord mercy. Amen. Lord knows that we're not going to oh. have monetization on this episode, so please make up for <laughs> oh, yeah, it. This is not wrong. This is not wrong. Wrong. Oh, Christ. Oh, please. oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I, I I just want to shout out that guy. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know who it was. Uh, made like a bingo card of me, and I just want to say Vriska, just so you can cross that <laughs> off. Oh, good. Yeah. Actually, I, I didn't say we, it yet. Before we move on to questions, I have a I have a question okay. for all you. Just what your mm -hmm. what's your what's yeah, your sure. read on this? Okay, all, our opinion on like the whole trans thing. Are we in the majority or are we in the minority? Of what? We've got to be the, the real majority our, of like our, real people, right? Yeah. Well. I don't know. I'm, like, I'm I not... really am un no, unsure. Do, do you know what it's, I think it I is? Mean, I think we're in the majority. I just think because of the the uh, the culture, uh, you're not allowed to Nobody's talk about allowed it. Nobody's allowed to say it. Yeah, so it's oh, just it's not presented it. very often. So, so I guess we've been punching down pretty hard this episode, haven't we? I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I, I would punching down imagine. at 0.1% of the population. Yeah. If you uh, want well, to look at it that loud way, voice. They have a loud-ass voice online, so I don't feel that bad. I would imagine that like the majority of people who are explicitly against trans people are probably not as nuanced as we are. And... While we may be in, like, the majority of, like, we're skeptical of this, our exact opinions and formations of our thoughts are probably different. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we would be necessarily I, in the minority. I mean, but, I'd you know. like to think. I, I'm sure I'm sure, I'm sure. sure that the people in the comments aren't going to see it that way. It's yeah. just, I, no, I, I think, literally. Oh, oh no, I we will be dead. We are I done. <laughs> Goodbye. I want everyone to be as happy and healthy as possible. I simply do not agree that the methods that these people have selected as the optimum one are necessarily that, and I would like to see more evidence that that's the case. Agreed. That's and my more position. More, I mean, be really, more like Mulan. The, the, that's my opinion. The reason we I were, overflow we were with, with empathy. Empathy for these people, but go the, on. The yeah, reason we on. were, you know, the reason we mm. were talking about it in 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 the first place was is because like because we they can't may be talk a minority, about it. but that you right. can't talk about it because they have their claws. I mean, right. not to imply they have claws, uh, it's like they're fucking deep monsters, but like um, they the have claws in the media, the and you mm -hmm. just you just everybody like like the majority of people can't speak the the way they want. Right. Yeah. It's kind of silly. But I, that's not here on the on the PCP. We have an open mic for any ideas all the time. Well, they're no you know, they're gonna it's it's gonna be like those dudes that were fucking around on me on Twitter. They're gonna say like, well, you can have your opinion, but yeah. you shouldn't say it because it's regressive and because like you're you're like hurting you're like hurting society uh, by this, spreading around the way you feel I mean, about this th issue. Th that usage of the word regressive really got me. That's them just saying like, no, my opinion is confirmed the correct one. You cannot yeah, yeah. argue yeah, with like, this. Yeah, like I said, I'm not. I, I said I'm not gonna agree with anything for the sake of progressivism, and then he took that as a as an admission that i was yeah, that i was right. regressive which it was not oh um, my god fuck yep i yep. love the the word shame. that should be another episode fucking like bullshit semantics that people use i hate that 
Oh God! Hey, I listen. Could fucking do an episode on that. We got speaking of this. There, here's a great question. I, I love this one actually. There, there's a lot going on with this. So, this, so this is from the Twitter, everybody. Uh, uh, we do the thing. Uh, follow us at TP Procrastinators yes, on Saturdays please. when we record, so that you see the tweet where we ask for them questions using the hashtag AskPCP thing. We so, also uh, pull questions from the Procrastinators chat. So if you're a patron, right, you get access to the Discord course. server, and we'll pull questions from there more often because you love mm-hmm. us and we'll love you back. That's how these Indeed. things work. But listen to this one okay at gabe 11 gabe w underscore 11 asks is it wrong to want to see others not succeed in life if their career is already heading towards failure there's oh a lot, no there's a um, lot in i that. think i think that Whoa. i think if I think that's I need a, minute to parse that. a good. I think that means you care about them. If well, you think that, exactly, if you think right. that succeeding well, at their chosen thing is going to be bad for them in the long run, yep. yeah. Then or I think you should. Then I think yeah, you should want them to fail at it. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I'm trying to think of like an example where that would not work. Hey, I, I've got like, one for you. I've got an example of this. So uh, there was this there was this guy who went on the Shark Tank and he he advertised this game and it was called like. Boulder Ball, Builder Ball. It, it was some like game. Oh, that, like, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, and, like this man had spent like a decade uh, trying to make this sport an Olympic sport, and was like going around. Had sold his house, had had divorced his wife, or had, like his marriage had collapsed. Like his life was in shambles because he was trying so hard, and he believed to a pathological degree, you might say, that this game was going to be successful, and he would not stop until it became as successful as he wanted to be, and. Like, the sharks were like, dude, you need to stop. This is not going to happen. It's not going to work out. And bullet ball. So, it was called bullet ball. I have bullet ball. Yeah, okay, bullet ball. And uh, it was it was a nightmare, like, he listening to his story. But the amazing thing is, ultimately, he did find some small success with it. In, like, yeah. uh, I, I don't know exactly how, but, like, he did manage to get a little bit of, of, not- a, of his toe in the door. Yeah, like, it's. I'm seeing that it's 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 part of the senior Olympics now. Right, or it, beca- or it became part of it. So yeah, someone somewhere picked it up. It didn't become an Olympic sport, but Jesus but it, Christ, someone, someone. <laughs> Maybe he like, meant senior Olympics all along. It just wasn't. I mean, saying I'm, it. I, I, I don't mean, know. I'm sure it's a perfectly playable game. And it's I'm an sure okay it, game. It's an yeah. okay game. How but good like, are okay. its graphics? But the question is, was it worth it? Was it fucking worth it? Did he lose his wife? That his, depends his on the home. metrics you're measuring. Like, is yeah. it personal satisfaction mm-hmm. or is it like tangible, like? Asset. Like I think, I think the only reason I think the only reason you yeah, should um, f- wish for the the mm-hmm. failure of someone is because if they succeed, it will be li- like actually bad for you in some tangible way. Yeah. Otherwise, it shouldn't really be part of you. But like, I mean, if you care about them and like this is gonna kill them, then you know that's that's different. But if it's like right. they're they're living a worse life, but they appear happier. Like if they're going down a road that you cut, like yeah. they're, they're sort of drifting apart from you. Is it really your place to like decide where their life goes if they like it more? I think mm-hmm. to a degree you have to mm-hmm. respect their autonomy. Like don't interfere. Like you can hope that if something looks really bad, like man, I hope that I hope I think it's less about if it's someone you care about. It's less about hoping they fail, but hoping they change directions. Right? You're not right, actually hoping right. that something yeah. gets like fucked if, up. If you get you're some sort of something improves. If you're getting a sadistic pleasure from watching your friends fail, uh, like, I mean, that's, that's not, that doesn't, you know, maybe, I guess I shouldn't judge what makes you happy either, but, like, I, that's not really, like, what we want society to be built on. So, yeah, I think uh, that yeah. that would be uh, uh, fairly safe to say that's a negative thing to do, and you probably yeah. wouldn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the, but no, I think Gibbs right, the only time you'd really want to actively hope for someone failing is, like, if you're in for an interview and the person before you's interviewing first, like, man, I hope they fuck it up. Right, right. <laughs> Anything like that. Yeah. Anything like that. That's that's perfectly reasonable. I got a question mm-hmm. from the Procrastinators Patreon Lounge. You can donate oh for just God. $1. Uh, get in here. <laughs> you can uh, fucking scream as loud as you can. And, I and we're all that. contractually <laughs> obligated to hear you. Yeah, yes. it's true. <laughs> um, by Griffey, what is your least favorite? I'm gonna expand this to least favorite and uh, possibly the favorite thing that's hmm. happened as a result of the existence of the PCP. Ah, okay. So I, does he mean the, this friend favorite? group or specifically the podcast? How I, should we I, interpret I would, this? I would imagine like the podcast. I, I would, okay. I would, like okay. or, or the podcast, or you know, like like the culture surrounding it as a result of it being a podcast. Uh, I make uh, money I mean, on Saturdays. Thing... That's the best thing. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's my, not bad. My, uh, yeah, my... the, the best thing about the PCP is that it lets me do my other stuff. 
Mm-hmm. I, uh, yeah, I absolutely. Mean, yeah, but I think my favorite thing about it is uh, Radcon. That was the fun. Yeah, Radcon. Yeah, I liked that. Yep. And I mean, I mean, yep. well, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, I do enjoy being on the show and and hanging out with y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, I always have fun actually doing the podcast. Uh, yeah, well, that's so... my. I mean, long before the PCP made money. I mean, it's no secret that I am the beating heart of the PCP that yeah. keeps this this machine lumbering along. And a lot of that, I think, just came from the fact that I had moved out to a new city and I. I didn't like have friends out here or anything. I, I didn't know anybody, and I felt a strong desire to to keep conversation going with these guys online. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, like I was always there. Like it's time, let's do it. Let's fucking do this. Because like yeah. this was my excuse. Because like again, this was a big thing before the podcast. There was like never a, an excuse to like get in calls and talk it's true. with you guys. Like you I, have to be like, guys, I'm so sad. I need to fucking I talk think, about. I think stuff. it's safe to say, Nate, that if you yeah. hadn't started the PCP, we would not mm-hmm. be nearly as close as we are now. I probably yeah. would have fallen yeah. off the map with a lot of you just because we don't because mm-hmm. we didn't we don't have like a fandom thing to keep us all talking and stuff like we right. all kind of went off in our own directions and if we didn't have this to to galvanize our our group mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. it would have it would have definitely weakened if not evaporated I, entirely. It's true. I think it's some true. people might be inclined to think I don't know I, I just want to say like on that point some people might think that's the mark of like a a weaker bond or a weaker friendship and I just want to challenge that Completely, I would challenge if that anyone's as well. thinking that that's, there is that's nothing... the, that is that is the mark of of a group of intellectual gods going to do yeah. their own thing <laughs> yeah. we're we're i mean capitalism in general and like the, the the free market decision to do what you want in life like allows you to self-select for the kind of people that you want to spend your time with and interact with and mm-hmm. so like like you can't choose your fucking parents you know so like you should have I don't know, I was tweeting about this the other day, like, you should have standards for, like, whether or not you want to continue to even associate with, like, the people that you had no choice of being involved in when you were growing up. Like, if your parents are monsters, it's perfectly reasonable to not associate with them. And if, like, you guys were shit, I wouldn't hang out with you. But I choose to, because you're all my brothers, and it's Mm. great, and I love you all. Thank you. And mm, like, and like, mm. even before the PCP made any money, or even looked like it might ever make any money, like we were right. all, we were, we were like, there was never any question of like, let's not do this right. anymore. Because I, I, yeah, I love, yeah. I love my paycheck from the PCP, but I do it for free. Yeah, yeah. I would, and, and yeah. we did a lot of us for a we long did. time. For so a long yeah. time, yeah. 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 Was um, I, was part of his question the least favorite thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well. Yeah, oh, um, well, that's I, I, true. I, I just want to say my my favorite thing was. Uh, either like, like like Hippo, the Radcon 2, or just recently going out to meet Ben. That was truly incredible, and it was a great time, and it was fucking Word. great. So uh, it was I loved fucking it. great uh, it was, having you. It was blissful. Yeah, I can't, was, I can't wait to do it again. I mean, if, if the worst have. thing about the PCP as an organization by far is is the kind of issues that arise just from a group of people working and have clashing ideology sometimes. Yeah. And uh, you know, we they, yeah. uh, there may have not have been an incident where someone had to leave. You know, that mm-hmm. wasn't fun. And uh, things like that are uh, pretty much stand out as the things you yeah. don't want to have to do for me. I think yeah. I think uh, we can I, all I agree. I take that this. I think this, we can this all, moment all... say uh, I I I mm-hmm. uh, I'm I'm sorry, monkey. I I I, I don't hate you, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> but I, I I feel bad about the whole situation. Oh uh, yeah, I, none I, of us I, wanted it to do it. Was it. Real, it was it, real. It was real shitty. It was real shitty. Yeah, actually. Yeah. I'm mad about I mean, it. I, I was going to make a joke, but then you made it all serious, and yeah, I'm just going to echo that <laughs> well, sentiment. I mean, it was, it was you know, no, that, that Oh, well, here's Gib balls. cutting off jokes. How does it like taste in your own medicine, you piece of shit? I can't even make the joke now because my joke was going to say the worst part was Jeff, and I can't even make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Uh, Jeff, Got him. Jeff's cool. I love you, Jeff. Um, yeah, the, the monkey situation, <laughs> make really no mistake, do. we were <laughs> all upset about it, audience. None of us of were happy about it. No. Yep. No. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Some of us for different reasons than others. Yeah, uh, but true. any other worse things? Uh, I can't really think of any. No, I, I mean it's pretty really great. Been it. Yeah, everything else is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I love every month. I, this is like it is literally my favorite part of the month to just like calculate the finances of the PCP and like divvy it up appropriately and make sure and check off my little boxes when everyone's gotten paid. I feel so great about it. It is it is a pleasure to do it and. And, uh, I and they just watches our it. financial empire slowly grow and can feel That's, the power. I, it's my favorite through. thing. It's Nate, my you're favorite. All, you're always posting like you're always posting graphs of like look at like look at our performance, like look at our revenue, yeah. like, look at the upward trend. And I gotta say, I appreciate it a lot. Damn right. <laughs> right. right. It does, it does make me feel like my life is on an upward curve in some yeah. way, despite yeah, everything else go. being a 
dumpster fire. It's good to know, <laughs> it's good to know that there's some glimmer of hope there. That's good. That's e- e- good. Everyone's saying the generic, like, oh, yeah, I, 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 I like money. I like money. And I do like uh-huh. money. However, I want to go with, to, like, to, to the black pilled extreme and Excellent. say that, 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 that my favorite uh, aspect of the piece of me that is my favorite about vanity mm-hmm. is uh, seeing people say that they like me and that I am the best uh, okay. PCP member. That's what I strive sure. for. Yeah. Sure. Whenever someone says that I'm the best PCP member, oh, I know, true. like, oh, of course, that is true. Thank you, you you're very much. You're a polarizing much. figure, but you do get a lot of people saying you're the best and that they're here for you. And you're, I will you're, say you're, social you're currency is just as fun to collect as yeah. actual currency. So, you know, so you're I, not wrong. Yeah, you're I feel wrong. like I feel like um, I feel like I'm a I'm kind of a dark horse, kind of a cult favorite. I feel like mm. I'm not the mm. most popular, oh, but I but yeah. I feel like there's a but like there's a. Like there's a sizable minority of people my, my, that are in, that are solidly in Ben's camp, and I appreciate them so my much. My fan base is so happy. Of late. I feel like I don't yeah. know what I'm doing lately, but people, I've gotten a couple comments with like, "Oh, Tom's pretty cool." I'm just like, "Yes, notice me." You, you have the mysterious, give me, give me like, that I sweet satisfaction feel. I need. Yeah. I you know, I feel like I'm like the 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 token favorite. Like everyone has to say they like a hippo because yeah. you know I, like you don't do anything negative, negative, negative at all. Yeah. Like as the the absolute favorite. A- everybody gets yeah. tired you're, of some weird utilitarianism every once in a while, or they're you know they whatever. Or or Ben, you know, like there's only so much trash you can eat out of the dumpster before you're sick of it. <laughs> before but, before it just gets old. But, but yeah, but, but exactly. Give, give, but think give about never it. You, you stopped issues. the podcast. This episode dead in its tracks twice with like three words. With a great joke. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was great. So uh, I, I certainly agree uh, that it's it's great. There's a reason like, you're the one pitching shows and not us. It's because yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's not because I made funny jokes. You're like you're like the the you're like the the blueberries and the blueberry pancakes of the podcast. They're the you know, juicy sweet bits that you it's, love. That's true. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I feel. I don't <laughs> like blueberries. Oh, oh, I don't no. like Get you. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't so much like for being blueberries. Blue yeah. Uh, Excellent. What was I going to say? Oh, oh, it, uh, related to this topic, uh, uh, there happened to be on 4chan the other day a thread. Uh, it was actually about Digi, something about uh, Mario Odyssey, I think, or something, you know, that yeah, shit. Yeah, something um, stupid. And within it, there a discussion about the PCP emerged, and three individual tier lists were posted as for who were the best. Whoa. And I just want to say, now, this is 4chan, which I am a close ally of, so it makes sense <laughs> yes. that they would like me. <laughs> but I was the top contender on all of them. On all of them, I was number one. Well, so, that's, you're the, you're that's the, not you're the true. Omnibus I was. Present. I was what the top contender on, on a bunch sh- of them. I specifically okay, well, remember the, 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 that, I was, a that I was thread? a favorite. I was consistently ranked high tier. One guy was like pff, liking Ben Saint, and someone <laughs> else, and someone else came in and shat all over him for his for his deviant opinion. <laughs> it was wonderful. Nate, 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 <laughs> who like, may or like may the not Mario have been the me. PCP. You're in every episode. It's all <laughs> it's your show, and so and like, I, was, everybody... I was going to say though, the fact that I talk so fucking much and am still liked is a pretty good indicator that my that the quality of my average contribution is 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 good is positive. Positive. So you know, hmm. I'm the best. We'll the see company. about. I think you're we'll see about that <laughs> more than you would like in a few minutes. <laughs> I, think you're getting, I think you're getting a little too big for your britches. There. <laughs> I, I, I will say, Nate, that it. one time I hosted the show, I got a lot of positive comments, and people wanted me to replace you more often. So Uh-oh. just keep an Maybe eye it's out just for that, that mm, buddy. It could just be that host bump. It could be the host bump. It just Tom, could be that Tom's the angle for the PCB carry the dictator conversation so hard. I'm gonna roll in my communist revolution here. You just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the best part of the PCP. No, like, like, yeah. like saying that Tom is a communist and having everyone agree with me, and then being, and then him saying like, "What, it was, what makes you think that?" And then we're all like, oh, "Oh, we we don't know. We, just Tom, we didn't Tom even being, think. We didn't question it at Tom all." Being, like, right. Tom's communism meme was a real Streisand effect moment in the PCP. Yeah. Like, there was no moment of origin, but we were all unanimous that, of course, this yeah. is what's real. I, this the is, funny yeah. thing is, I didn't even know it was a thing until we. Yeah. Had the, the wrestling thing and everyone's like oh you're a communist yeah. like I am why yeah. well, I, I don't know I don't fucking know uh, it was good, good times yeah. all around it yeah. was. It yeah. was. Um, um, it's because you yeah. wear a beret. It's like it's like a oh, yeah. oh, oh, like, oh, oh, like oh, Shay, like Shay. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's, that's, yeah. That's you know it. that honestly could be a real connection. That might be like a, a real source of the. Th- well, that's a Tudor cap, which is not quite the same, but you know, it's the it's the floppy. We don't, we don't talk us, about the Tudor un, cap. Un, 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 un,
Yes. Another question from Patreon Lounge by mm-hmm. The Vacuuminator. Uh, oh, yes. Are there any songs that you've listened to so much uh, at one point in your life that the lyrics have started to inform the way you've lived your life? You can just every be like comics song, or somebody every song. once told <laughs> me yeah. the word. Every, yeah, that's every that's song one. from the SpongeBob musical. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh you! <laughs> oh you! <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, not, not, not lyrics wise, but I have listened to a lot of like Led Zeppelin songs to the point where I like off, off the, like off by heart, I know exactly how all the drum solos and guitar solos go and I could play along with them. You've like, listened tapping to on, them the, on the thing so much. You are the black dog. You are <laughs> the stairway to heaven. You are that guy. Yes. yes. I, I just hum it to myself in my brain. Like every, every day, oh, like uh, I, I can, I can replay a song a classic rock song in my head without having to turn on my NPC. Dude, if, if this were a video game, you would be like the designated NPC that like you talk to to begin the BGM playing like a different song in the background after you collect the item oh my that's God. associated <laughs> with it. That'd be you. That's you in real yeah. life. Uh, wait, what, what was exactly the question? Like, have you listened to it so much that you're gay? That it's in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that you turn into a gay person. Wait, no, you <laughs> talked over each other. I didn't life. actually hear. Oh, that, that it changes that, your that, life. That, it, well, it, informs, it informs the way you live your life. Uh, like, like okay. it, it changes you, and, and it gives you new ideas in your old cranium there. I mean, here's, I don't know. I, Discord, uh, like... I'm having a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I find myself so howling happy. at the moon a lot these days. <laughs> uh, uh, I, like, I don't actually know most of the lyrics to, like, Soraya Rodez, the, the Gurren Lagan main theme, but, like, I know I'm always on about it, but, like, I listen to that song a lot, and it, like, you know, deeply emotionally moves me every single time. Uh, yeah, just I was thinking gonna, about, like, my, what it my means. My point was going to be that I, it's not so much, like, lyrics of songs yeah. that affect me, but just, like, the context of songs presented it and kind of just the emotional gravitas Dude, of the like, instrumentation. Fucking, fucking You're Not Alone from Final Fantasy IX is, like... Like, that song just evokes such a strong moment, like, from that game of, like... I, I mean, I'm not even going to go into it, but it is by far Dude, the most emotionally powerful moment it. in 100%. Final Fantasy IX, um, yeah. and it, it's I, I, devastating. I do actually have one. <laughs> you do? I, okay. I do actually have one. Uh, fucking Pink Floyd's Welcome to the Machine yeah. uh, informed a lot of, uh, like, like uh, coming out of college, having to think about looking for work, uh, not really knowing what to do, mm-hmm. and be like, yeah, now you're in the machine, all, bitch, all, this is what it is. All of hybrid mm. theory informed my, my middle school years, I'm not going to yeah. lie. I bet it did. I, I, bet I it was did. a walking meme at the time. <laughs> this is a like a, a little bit of a recent find for me, so I, I've, I've yet to see if it's truly changed my life, but mm-hmm. it's uh, put in a lot of like 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 ideas in that have been cooking in my brain. It, it's like popped out and you know, made mm-hmm. me fully understand mm. uh this guy this guy on Bandcamp who did like like homestuck music he, he's a guy who made the music for s enter he, he like he's that guy michael bowman he's a mm. real good singer songwriter guy and he's real is real fancy go listen to him uh fucking comfortable bugs that's my shit and uh, that, that, that's he learned. That, all I love all of his lyrics, and they feel like me. Has they there are me. has there been a, has there been a ceasefire in the bug wars that allows you to listen <laughs> to comfortable bugs? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. There has. Okay. And, 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 and it's actually it, it, it's it's like cultural diversity. I'm learning about so many ah, different backgrounds. Right. I'm I'm unsure if this fight is you know good enough to continue. Oh, but by the way, I just want to add, like, on a practical note, like that 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 Sorrow Days, and like like that song and lots of other like songs that evoke strong emotions in me. I actually strategically deploy those songs like during my runs. Oh yeah, yeah. I do as that ways too. to like, uh, or, or like just when lifting to like force my like. When I'm at like when I'm like halfway through a run, if I just put on like Soraya Rodez, like it like the, the I've been psychologically tricked. It just kicks in endorphin that just allows me to finish my run like easily. So mm-hmm. using it that way to like force my body to just obey its stupid biological impulses uh, is very interesting and uh, very fucking funny. I, I, I do that all the time, Nate. I it, like yeah. like the, I only listen to music in, mm. in context of would it be cool if like I was in a movie and this song was playing right now to the audience like with this yeah. conveying oh, yeah. what's happening right now that's the sure. only context yeah. i listen to any music in <laughs> i think i think of all music as like what would what would an s like yeah. homestuck flash look like with this music yeah yeah, yeah. what Ex- if what exactly. if i was having the baby and the baby was you what would that <laughs> what, be what if <laughs> I, I, I was Wait, recording arm the- retrieval right now what <laughs> would that sound like the, the baby is you the baby is you changed my fucking life nothing was oh, ever yeah. the same after i heard the baby is you <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah God, it's it's like actually like my favorite album. Oh, and, and by the way, if people don't that that is a Homestuck album made by Toby Fox. Made yeah, it's his, Fox. it's his greatest fucking contribution to culture. You fucking swine. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah.
Totally. You got you got two homestuck musician guys. To check out. Go do it, you fucking bitch. Okay. I, how, I, how about one more question yeah, and yeah. we wrap it up? Okay. I, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I have something far very important that will you know cut to the core of your very mm. soul and your mm. very being will change after you hear this and Excellent. it'll be it'll be controversial uh, topic like none other. By, Is it bug fuck? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> My favorite uh, one. <laughs> by cuddle to o-, o L in the Patreon Discord. What's the best breakfast? I'm gonna go out Oats. here and say that Oats. pancakes pancakes without butter specifically or syrup. Mm. And then and then two eggs is the best breakfast. I'm or gonna, alternatively, two eggs and a steak. You I'm need gonna bring... two eggs in the breakfast, and if you don't have that, then you're doing something wrong. I'm gonna mm. bring mm. I'm gonna bring a little class to this slovenly hole that we all <laughs> reside in. I'm gonna I'm gonna make two my two favorite breakfasts are as follows: one, lobster eggs Benedict. Oh my fucking god! Mm. Two, decadence. I'm gonna knock you down. Oh, two, the decadence. <laughs> two, uh, lox lox bagels with cream cheese, tomato, onion, and capers. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Is a yeah. All right, all right, slow mo. Okay, <laughs> all right, buddy. That's my name. Oh, wait, no, and the best, all of us the best... went to a foreign language class bit. <laughs> <laughs> and the best and the best breakfast beverage is mm-hmm. two thirds cranberry juice, one third grapefruit juice mixed mm. together. With You're ice. a mixologist, ain't you? You fucking I am. fat piece I'm a of fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a breakfast alchemist. Is what yeah. I would describe oh, my profession God. as. Uh, 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 in stark contrast, uh, my favorite breakfast is uh, to get a very small frying pan <laughs> and, and to put uh, two bits of bacon and two eggs uh, just in at the same time and just crush it around, oh like crush it and squish mm. it around, Ooh. and then flip it over, and it becomes like a like a like a writhing, squidging mess of like a like an omelet pancake like bacon thing. Please, it's like it's like it's like a bacon omelet, but it's just really messy, and you you end up like mopping up all the grease. Wait, I've got, with I've the got egg. a problem wait, with that. Wait, 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 I've got a problem. I with love that. that. That sounds great. Tr- j- just do it. Like fry bacon, and then halfway through, just put ah, in. Ah, okay. A, I was gonna say. Eggs. I was gonna say the bacon's gonna take longer to cook, so you got to put I, that in first. But wait, okay, wait, I'm with I you. have one more. There's one more. I forgot. There's actually a breakfast named after me. Hmm. Um, named after my real name. Uh, no, it's not the Ben Saint. It, it's the perfect beverage for the Chad on the go. Uh, the, the, the Ben. The I'm ben, listening. The Ben. And I won't say my last name, even though I literally don't care if anyone knows okay. it. Uh, uh, but uh, it's coffee, coffee with a scoop of chocolate protein powder in it, uh, and that is a great. Mm. That is a great, uh, powerful breakfast treat. That oh, people people I've turn tried. their nose it's, up it's at, the ben, I, at the Ben. At the Ben Saint guy. Last name. <laughs> Weinstein. Two 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 points. No here. wonder he doesn't want to say it. <laughs> first, first of all, it, it, it inspired by that. It's very a bunch of Polish drink. gobbledygook. That's why I don't want to say it. <laughs> Indeed, it's it, a waste inspired, of everyone's time. <laughs> yeah. Inspired by that drink, Ben. I, I, I have made my real name as well, which is just the same thing. However, oh, it's slightly different. And for literal, like, like kill yourself, you will die of a heart attack. Ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes. The, the, the Toby Fox, an <laughs> excellent friend. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, an it, honor, it, as always, to have you here today. <laughs> Here's if you want to be awake and also you're a fucking disgusting fat freak. You mm. take a scoop of chocolate ice cream and you put like two shots of espresso in it. There, you are going to be awake and also it's delicious. I it's, eat it. It's a great thing. Uh, all right, oh, all right. Oh, well, all right, wait, wait, wait. No, this is extremely about important about fucking... breakfast. Extremely okay. important. Fine. Uh, here's how you oh eat eggs. God. You crack open the yolk so the, so the yolk spills out, and then you dip your pancake slash steak into Ooh. the yolk so it's like a sauce. Of and course. Ooh, that's exactly, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, runny yolks are essential. Ooh, Nate, Nate. I used mm-hmm. to, I used to, I used to think you were a big fucking weirdo for liking yep. your your yolks runny, but I saw the error in my ways, and now I'd never have them any other way. And yes. People, if you are cooking your yolks, you are just making your life worse. You're just just waste, don't do it. You're just wasting eggs. You're, you're just wasting, wasting that eggs. flavor. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, now, everybody, shut the hell up. Your your suggestions <laughs> are terrible. Those are the worst because all that matters is that you're meeting your nutritional macro goals in your oh, breakfast. Geez. That's all that matters. So here's, uh, I'll, I'll give you an option as well. Uh, you have a bowl of oats, just fucking steel cut oats. You put, uh, uh, you can put strawberries in there, frozen strawberries. Cook that in. That's for flavor. If you're a weakling and need flavor, like uh, me, and that's fine. In- indeed, you can put sugar in, but that's just extra calories. Count those fucking calories, you coward. Uh, and then you have a thing of water and chocolate protein powders. Uh, eat that all. And I'll give you the option of having black coffee in addition if you're weak and need that kind of thing to wake <laughs> up, which I-, I actually do now. So uh, there you go. Excellent. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's it. That's and, what you. Yeah, need. I think it's all we have to say on the subject of things you can't say. The, uh, what, the about, what about what about Tom fruits. though? Tom didn't come. Uh, oh, I'm yeah. just I I I actually am starting to do the oatmeal thing a lot now. Excellent. Because uh, mm-hmm. it's cheap and it's easy and it's fine yeah. and I don't care. I want mm-hmm. to turn into a mm-hmm. machine. If I could, if I could remove my sense of taste, I would do it. It would improve my life dramatically. Absolutely. Um, but when I when I'm a weak boy, I'm I'm a fan of omelets. I like making omelets. I make omelets all the time. They're good. I need protein because I don't eat meat because I'm a bitch. So yeah, that's a good source. That mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Protein and beans. Eat them beans. I, I get Dude. canned beans all the time. It's the best. Excellent. I was doing that before <laughs> right. it became a PCP meme. <laughs> guys I, I i i would eat beans if you could eat them in an omelet could you do that could you do like absolutely. a bean omelet? You could absolutely anything in an omelet, dude. Cool. burrito yeah no problem no Friday problem that would be a, that would I think be a they nice sell one. those at fucking taco bell plus Disgusting. beans are just delicious and especially fried or something they're they're really it's good. good shit it's good shit. I'm, I'm all about the bean life but i'm lazy and I just eat them out of the can because fuck <laughs> yeah being f- fuck civilizing things i don't yeah, who's got time for that it's like 50 percent of it i just don't want to do dishes later so i'm like fuck i don't need a dish again yeah, the dish too. right here <laughs> oh yes oh yes that no dishes. dish life that no dish oh, life uh, oh dude all right here's the thing freedom. you're not allowed to say i like uh washing dishes it's, oh, it's my oh my god mm, it's good I, I what like even are you i get it i get it can be relaxing it's not the worst thing in the world and like as chores go it's probably one of my no, least no, 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 no. This, is, chores. this is where this is where i'm going to pull a weird utilitarianism that's wasting mm. your time that's wasting your time doing things that don't matter he is uh, right oh yeah you're yeah, just yeah, going to do it I'd again s- later it sucks i hate it and dishes are the worst because i'd still rather just not use I don't a plate think it, so i don't, I don't have well to i I, I like it because of like the 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 therapeutic sort of like I can just sort of like zone out while doing this. It's it's as opposed mm-hmm. to just mm-hmm. vegging out watching a YouTube video. Like it's it's it, you know the same amount of work is getting done in that I'm trying to I just know. I think relax. You're, you're maximizing your your happiness levels by watching something you enjoy as opposed to like doing a mundane task. I mean, I would I would like yeah, listen but, to YouTube while doing the dishes. The... Is what I would do. Well, yeah, I mean, I could do both. I just I just like the the relaxing and the like sort of like standing there like oh, the, the sound of water it's it's good it's good for my soul and therefore all good right, for my motivation right. and I productivity eat, I eat soup I'll grant you it even though I don't agree I I, I I I like cook soup I like boil the soup and then I eat it directly out of the pot I will never use a bowl ever because you have like a handle on yes. the pot you can just it's pick true. it up and it's more yeah. convenient yeah. you're yeah, making yeah. it less convenient by using a bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just eat, yeah, eat it right yeah. out of the fucking crock pot or whatever. Why not? Yeah. Why the yeah, fuck there, not? Yeah, there's no reason not to. <laughs> Thank well, on God that note, for America. Let's let's wrap <laughs> it up, everybody. Uh, so, uh, 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 thanks for listening, everybody. All right, patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Uh, please give us money. Five dollars to get the bonus episodes. Uh, uh, what was the last bonus episode about? I can't fucking remember. Alcohol. Alcohol. Oh, alcohol. 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 Yes. We got drunk. And by the time you yeah. hear this one, very much so. it'll only be a couple days until the next one's out. So get yes. ready for that, motherfucker. Uh, do, 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 so. do you want to? You, you, you want to? You want to? You want to hint? You want? You want? You want to tease? Give him a hint, Munchie. Boys. Give him a hint, please. Uh, the next, the next, the next epic battle that that will come into the fucking ring. And, uh, like like two will enter, only one will leave. The most mm-hmm. the most fucking star star spangled banner fight you'll ever see in your entire <laughs> life. American versus American. American pure raw blood patriotism. <laughs> it is Charlie Brown versus Inuyasha. I came up with this one myself. I'm very excited to to, to <laughs> unveil it and, 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 and have them fight to the fucking death. Yeah, I think they're equal yeah. in power and raw <laughs> cultural impact. So, and, I, so, and I think you're I think you're gonna be cool. so. If you guys get... want to hear the awesome battle, you have to, it's five dollars on Patreon. Mm-hmm. Get access to all the bonus episodes. There's that's right eight of them right now. There's that's eight, correct. Right? Eight so far. Sounds right. So yeah, this will be number nine. Um, also, Number you can nine. listen to all these podcasts on iTunes and on Google Play. Just search the Procrastinators two words because mm-hmm. we're going to trademark that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, right. And yeah, there, right. there you go. That's it. Give us oh, your money. And, uh, Give us your we time. We got some merch. We got a little merch. If you want to buy yeah. some piece of me merch down below, click on that shit. And uh, follow us on the Twitter, at TPCrastinators, so you can ask us questions there in addition and get updates and whatnot and of course subscribe to the channel because there's more than just the podcast songs here my fam there's lots of shit so we'll Sit, see you post that this on your facebook your personal facebook where your family and <laughs> friends will you will see it please let, sh- please show this especially to your especially this episode yes, yes. We're, we're, <laughs> if you want to red pill your your buddies this is the episode uh, to post my friends mm. Indeed. Right. Let let us take the brunt of the blow from your <laughs> yeah. your, your your deep racist oh, inclination. Wait, you know what? Service this episode was. Y- you know I what? Yeah. You know what? Can I uh, can I make an announcement at the okay. tail end? Uh, the the champion's done and it's out. Yeah. 
uh, it's out today. Let's yeah, oh, I've, really? de- I've, de- I've decided well, I've decided right now that I'll fucking publish it the day this episode comes that, out. That's so a good listening- plan. Fantastic. That'll maximize your oh, bank so, for so excited. So if you're listening to this, uh, go check out saintcomics.com and read the full fucking chapter one of The Champion that I worked on for like 18,000 years. I can't wait Excellent. for the future when that's happening. <laughs> read, well, read, read and play it. Cause you know, oh, it's a multi, yes. it's a multimedia Ooh, yeah. experience. Pulling a homestuck, I see. I'm yeah. pulling mm. a little homestuck. I'm making a little Undertale. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> All right, thanks big everybody for listening. Day. We will see you next time. Bye. 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 See you later, you yeah. nigger. Yeah. Oh. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to. I'm sorry.